Okay. What about now? So, no, every... Hang on, I gotta lower this mic. How's my voice coming? Is it alright? Too loud? Here, it should be good. What about now? It, it's so annoying. Every time I, um... I restart my PC. I did Windows updates today. Which, of course, is always a terrible idea, apparently. And every time I do Windows updates, my computer restarts. All my settings are screwed up, and I have to mess with them again. It had my mic muted. It had all my volume all the way low. I had to turn it up. There we go. All right, how are we now? You sound perfect? All right, cool. Yeah, let me know how the game audio is once I start. But yeah, today we are playing more Ghost of Tsushima. Um, technically, we could beat the game today if I gunned it through Act 3, the main missions. But what I want to do this stream mainly is to, um, hang on, is to go through the uh, a lot of the side quests that we haven't done yet and a lot of the different tales. That way, next time I stream it, we'll be able to talk it, top it off with the end of the game. Because I think af after this, um, yeah, Rogue Dragon, this is Act, yeah, we're in Act 3. Last time we freed the second island, there's a second part of it, so just this top part's left. I've been told that Act 3 is a lot shorter. So yeah, like I said, technically we could beat it if I gunned it, but I'm not in a rush to beat this game. Um, I'm going to do the side stuff, and then, then we'll, we'll, we'll gun it for the end of the game next time. So... Real quick rundown here for next week, because it's going to be a little little different. I'll, I'll figure out an alternate date to stream the end of this game. But next Friday, um, I won't be streaming this one, because Battletoads is finally out. I cannot wait. Battletoads technically is out Thursday. I'm just going to stream Friday. So I'll be a day late, but um, I means you guys aren't allowed to watch anyone else till you come here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys could watch whatever you'd like. But yeah, Friday, 7.30 next week, we'll be doing that. Wednesday we'll be playing Dark Forces. Monday Assassin's Creed. Um, stream schedule is going to be a little, little wonky for through next month. Uh, probably going to be a lot of Avengers next month, and we'll probably run that, you know, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday because I'm trying to schedule out all the Halloween stuff perfectly, and that is essentially right around the corner. So yeah, just keep an eye out for the schedule. You guys have all the notifications and whatnot. Phantom Gamer, welcome. Just stop by to say what's up. I have a meeting at 5. I'll stay and see you at 6. Alright, no worries. I love doing wars. Uh, let's, let's see what we have first. The spirit of... See, there's so many of these things. There's a bunch of tails, too. Look at all this. Alright. Let, let's clean up some of these tails, and then we're going to do a mythic quest. Um, a debt repaid. Bandits have been active around here. Would be a good idea to stop them. A lot of these are quick, though. On Dark Forces, I'm definitely bowing out. Can't handle the motion sickness, CLW. Yeah, that game, man. <sighs> Graphically, it's very uh, outdated. I don't mind those graphics, though. But yeah, I, I, I can understand how it could be a little little jarring. Oh, I forgot I had this stupid horse again. My fake horse. Yeah. Anyone think that the horse feature in this is like Legend of Zelda Epona? I mean, I guess. Same idea. Riding a horse around. Because in Ocarina of Time, you can't really call your horse, right? Don't you, don't you have to... I mean, you can, but you have to use Epona's song. So yeah, pretty similar. Yeah, I'm going to do the Mythic Quest in a bit. I want to do the... Uh, it's what I call the Goku armor. I think I'm missing a farmer too, though. But we'll, we'll run into some. Double Hunters, welcome. <laughs> the imposter horse. I'm genuinely upset about it. Like, It was funny because my <laughs> last Friday when I got off, my, my fiancé was still up watching watching uh, TV in the living room. By the way, she, she might be... Oh, we got a new sub. Merc Rad TV, welcome to the channel. Um, she might be on the stream with me next Friday to play Battletoads on two-player. Uh, it depends. It depends on if we get childcare that night or not. I, I don't know yet. But when I got off last stream, she was like, you were on for a while. She's like, you got off later than usual. And I was like, don't even talk to me about that, all right? My friend died and my horse. She's like, what are you talking about? And I was like, just, 
I don't want to talk about it. Thief. Looks like you attacked the wrong caravan. Stay still. Just no. My horse was a black one called no, Kage. I killed these bandits. And I won't stop till I gutted the rest. Aren't you one of them? Not by choice. They forced me to join. Yeah, this guy's like Said it would pay my family's Bandit debt. Punisher? After years working for them, I went home and saw they killed my family. Stolen all they had. I refuse to die until I've killed every last one. Those bandits have earned death, but you can't do it alone. I would well. Are we good on the game audio? My name is Gumio. Jin Sakai. Show me where the others are. She gonna sit off camera like she did in Cyber Pilot? Well, probably not. If we're playing two players, she'll she'll be on camera with me. Which is funny. She'll she'll get mad if I if if I say this, but I don't care. Like if if she's on camera, that means she's gonna spend like five hours doing makeup. <laughs> like we we did the Mario Kart stream. I mean, this is like two years ago. I, I streamed Mario Kart Eight with her. Not streamed. This is before I was streaming. I did a Let's Play, and she was took her forever to get ready. Like we're going on a date, and I was just like, we're just playing a video game on the internet. Like, just who cares? So I was like, I don't wear makeup on stream. But I mean, yeah, I, I guess girls have to go through their whole rigmarole. Audio's good, cool. Information I can use. Tell me. Of course. I know this camp well. She'll probably sit off camera when she streams, uh, or when I stream, uh, Vader Immortal with her, because she'll be managing my chat and stuff and talking to me. I would kill all bandits. The main camp. Lookouts. Should take them out. Look, your best to feel, your best is important. Yeah, I guess. That building near the water. It's where they keep I just throw my hat on and call it a day. My hat is my makeup. What's in there? That's where the sleep. We don't even know if you wear pants on stream, so who cares? You'll never know. The secrets down below will never be revealed. That belongs to their leader, Gorachi. He's the worst of them all. Maybe you get a Vega so part is. I, I have streams pants. I have stream pantless. I will not tell you when. <laughs> hey, it gets hot in here, all right? All what can I say? Watch your back. Gomyo! Gomyo! <laughs> I'll help you, Gomeo. Mark playing this game for the third time. Yeah, I I would have played this game multiple times already if I wasn't streaming it. Since I only play it once a week. Usually what I'll do is I'll stream it and then I'm on it for like four more hours afterwards just collecting things. <laughs> it, it, it's incredibly addicting. Oh, I thought I pressed triangle. Stay quiet, please. This dude is on a rampage. What is he doing? Looking for me? There was the Joker stream after the hack. Oh yeah, I did. I wore makeup. My Joker costume. That was a terrible costume. I think I told you guys about that too, but I was so upset about that Joker costume because I, I bought it at Spirit Halloween and it looked really cool from the picture. And when I actually um, hang on, when I actually got it home and actually opened it and tried it, the material was completely different from uh, what they gave me, or it was completely different from the picture on the box. Like, it was just this, like, cheap-ass fabric that... And the costume was, like, 50 bucks. So I was like, oh, hell no, I'm returning this shit. So I wore it for that stream, and then I just... I returned it the next day and got my money back. It was such a rip-off. I feel like homemade Halloween costumes are better in a lot of cases. AI coup to stream without pants. A freeing experience. Going commando. Wait, no. I researched this. Haiku is five syllables, seven and five. So, to stream without pants. A freeing experience. Going commando. Oh, okay, you're right. Good job, Nataka. That is haiku. <laughs> I made a Taco Bell haiku on Twitter. I don't remember what I said. No, I heard it. We'll find it. 
Oh, ho, ho. scared now, huh? Where you at? A shield will not help you. I'm so glad this game side quest isn't just like a bunch of fetch quests like mo like many games do or um, a bunch of escort missions. You guys know how I feel about those. They're anger inducing. Some kind of it's been thundering in this game forever. I think it's because I'm doing all the ghost, all the ghost stuff. Yeah, the ghost stance doesn't get old to use. I absolutely love it. I know what I'm doing. I'm a writer after all. That was a good haiku. That's one of my favorite things in this game. I think the haikus are fun to make. No! I will avenge you, horse. It was an accident. Well, you know what? My horse died in the game. That's revenge. Sorry, horse. It was a victim of my anger. Search for Goro Hachi. Another Goro. Oh, look. Goro and Hachi. We got Mortal Kombat and Bloodstained. Goro Hachi. Got the trophy the other day for shooting a fleeing enemy in the back. I used an explosive arrow too to light his ass up. Yeah, that's hilarious. I didn't know that was a trophy. I accidentally got that last stream. Almost there. Could say Kage was an accident too. He wasn't. They purposely killed him. And I will not forget. Or forgive. He's here. Any idea where they went? Well, this, this dude's lying to me about something too. Like that, uh, like that lady at the beginning of the game was. She forced me to kill people because they took her rice. Straw hats. Oh, is he supposed to get away? Because it, like, went right through him. Run, horse! Sword's got nothing on explosive arrows. Now I gotta top it off with ghost. Oh, someone's getting away! She did force me. I was bamboozled. Hey, you want to shoot arrows? Shoot arrows. Come on. Arrow war. I'm going to get him right in the ass. Ooh. Your wounds. Look painful. I can't do anything for them. I only need one more trophy to platinum. Yeah, when I beat it, I'm going to clean all battle trophies. With your help, my lord. And now, I beg one last favor. Don't leave my body with this filth. I won't. Seemed like a good dude. Yet peace, He's no talker though. <laughs> Just like we were all bamboozled into subscribing to this channel. That's hilarious. Charm of enduring affliction. I haven't really messed with my charms that much. 
What does that do? Status effect lasts 50% land. Nah, care about that. Grundy, welcome. Hit that like button harder than my bank count hits zero. Wesley, welcome. Get so excited playing this game. All right, let's look for another. Let's do a, you know, we'll do a mythic tale. I'll save this one for last because I don't know if I have all the keys yet. So, um, what is this rumor about Yarikawa's final curse? If the musician is telling a tale, there might be something to it. The spirit of Yarikawa's vengeance. Gotta say, I'm a big fan of these mythic quests. Damn it. Oh, look, look, there's Fox Den right by here. Some of the charms are really awesome, but most are take it or leave it. Yeah, I I think I've equipped all the ones that I actually like. All the extra ones I keep getting are just kind of... I don't know, I feel like they really wouldn't make a difference. Sucks this is on Xbox. Yeah, and you guys heard Halo got delayed. I was so disappointed, which I, I get it, but... Damn, that's like... I really wanted that. I feel like that is going to hurt the uh, Series X sales this holiday. More people are going to be buying PS5 because of that, for sure. I don't care. I'm, I'm going to get both, but it's definitely going to have an impact. What happened here? We were coming down the road and heard screams. By the time we got here, it was too late. They must have killed each other. No. It was the spirit of Yarikawa's vengeance. Spirit? You know some of the tale. But not all. Getting an awesome power. Is this the flame sword? The samurai of clan Yarikawa were the most skilled swordsmen on our island. In every generation, one lord was taught their family secret. A deadly technique called the dance of wrath that could cut through any foe's defense. Ooh. The dance of wrath found its greatest I want that. In Lord Tokiasa, Yarikawa. Though beloved by his people, he resented Clan Shimura's power. Desperate to seize control, he set off a bloody rebellion that claimed countless lives. Lord Shimura's father and brothers fell to Yarikawa's Dance of Wrath technique. But with Clan Sakai. I like that name, Dance of Wrath. Shimura put down the rebellion. And executed Lord Yarikawa. Before he died, the traitor vowed to avenge his conquered people from beyond the. Oh yeah, Avengers and getting the Spider-Man oh, DLC too. That's right. To his spirit, Which I was gonna get the Xbox version, but now that they they announced that, I'm just gonna get the PlayStation one. They beg for their enemies to die, and the spirit of Yarikawa's vengeance. And gonna get the one that has the most retro games. Of wrath. I don't know that if you're looking at retro games, they'll both you probably get like collections or not. That spirit. They were merchants known for cheating their customers, profiting. Yeah, anything that helps me destroy my enemies so is worth it. Prayed for their deaths. The shrines overflow with offerings. Shoot of vibes, welcome. Spirit, begging him for bloody retribution. How do I find these shrines? People burn a handful of straw and flowers. Sounds more terrifying than Akuma's raging demon. So the spirit finds their prayers. Look to the sky, my lord. Sounds interesting. I like that little backstory. There's so much lore in the Ghost of Tsushima universe already Careful. that I feel like they could the make sequels and prequels even if they wanted to. Role in their downfall. That was a long time ago. Not to them. Search old Yarikawa for white smoke. I mean, they can even do prequel stories, like about when the samurai first came to Tsushima. Like, there's so much they could do. And now that, like, it, it's firmly established as an outstanding series already with one game, I mean, Sucker Punch would be stupid not to make sequels. White smoke. Probably have to get the higher ground. 
How about that finale, Agents of Shield? Yeah, I liked it. It was very, very satisfying. Um, although it's funny, I was watching one of my buddies, and like, <laughs> I, I'm the one that watches those shows and always like randomly tries to throw logic in there that no one else thinks of. Like when they were talking about um, uh, uh, about the, you know the, the I'll, I'll speak about things you know without much detail, so I don't spoil anything. But when they were talking about like the baby in space. First thing I said to my friend was like, so how did they get diapers and baby wipes? I mean, I've had a kid. You need that stuff. So he's like, that's what you're thinking about in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I was like, I'm just saying, like, they need diapers. But um, it was good. It was a good finale. Everyone got a proper conclusion. It's going to be weird not having that show because I've watched literally every episode. Except some of the final episodes of the last season. I, I didn't care about the last season too much. Is the white smoke really, like, that white? Or, like, is that white smoke? Play as Jin's father during the Civil War with Yarikawa. Yeah, see, see, things like that, they can easily do in a prequel. I'd buy it. Shit, I'd buy that in a heartbeat. There's so much lore to this that they could go on for as long as Assassin's Creed. Yeah, they could. And also, they could even go, like, if the Mongols go to the mainland... Like you know, you have to play as Jin. Like you can, you can easily just play as other samurai that are on the mainland. Like there, there's just so much. There's so much potential. I don't know what they would do to keep you know the game from feeling the same as this one, but I mean, the of they did it with Assassin's Creed. Someone left a message. Hitaro is a traitor to our people. He's at the camp nearby, and his worth of his life. Hitaro is a traitor to our people. He's at the camp nearby. End his worthless life. They must mean the survivor camp. Huh? Depends. Sony has the rights. Oh, what Spider-Man? I I thought it would have been cool if each console, kind of like they did with Soul Calibur Five, was it five or six with the Star Wars characters. Where each console got uh, an exclusive character, and then later on the other one was DLC. Like, what What if Xbox had Wolverine? You know, that would have been cool. And then PS4 had Spider-Man, then later down the road, like, you know, you could download them across console. Lord Sakai, how can we help you? Which one of you is Hitaro? I am... Someone asked the spirit of Yariko Next Saturday. Yeah, we're getting news on the new Batman. It is not the Suicide Squad, suicide squad game like I thought it was. I've done nothing wrong. If you're helping the Mongols, I will find out. I would never do that. Please, let me prove it. Make him confess, my lord. I'll explain, but not here. Follow me. Hmm. I'll trust you for now. What do you think the next Batman game will be? I don't know. I want it to be Arkham Beyond. I want it to be the future. But I I, I don't think that's... It'll probably just be a sequel to Arkham Knight. I, I really don't know what... Actually, you know what? No. I think it's going to be another um, prequel game. Probably taking place between like Origins and Arkham Asylum or something. It's W. Me Montreal, the Origins people. I don't know. It, it, Arkham Knight seemed pretty conclusive. So I think it's going to be another game that takes place between like some of the older ones. That's just me guessing. I, I literally have, I have no information on it whatsoever. This is where I come at night, my lord. A grave. Who's buried here? His name was Tojiro. We were close. But his wife and family were at the camp. I can't explain why I visit without hurting them. I understand. But the people at your camp don't. And they're scared. It's not safe for you. Where else? It was so California, yeah. So Calibur 5 was Etsy, alright? Was that 5? Go. Before it's too late. 4 and 5 kind of blend into me. Batman's better, but I still don't want evil Superman. I told you guys, I think it's I think it's Bizarro. I'll probably be completely wrong about that, like most fan theories, but I'm just gonna keep saying that. 
All right, look for more white smoke. This is like Ultimate Alliance, like, oh yeah, with the exclusives. Yeah, honestly, it, I don't know. I, I understand why some people are upset about it, but some people are acting like console exclusives or something new, you know? Like, some people are definitely extremely angry about it, but they've kind of always been doing that. That's been a thing for a while. Like, Ultimate Alliance, the PSP version, had extra characters that none of the console ones ever got. Like, it, it's nothing new in the industry, basically. I mean, it sucks if you only have one console, but... Like I said, I, I'm just going to get the PS4 one. I'm going to get the one that has the most... Oh, I have hiccups. I'm going to get the one that has the most content. Patiently waiting for the 27th and Doom Eternal, the Ancient Gods Part 1 DLC gets revealed. Yes. I can't wait for that. I'll have to, once they announce that, I'll have to set up a stream date for it. Because I, you guys know I'm going to stream that. Have to. I have to. I agree with that. I didn't know that Ultimate Alliance had extra characters depending on the console. Yeah, uh, PSP. I think it was PSP. Um, had Black Widow. I think it had Cable. I know it had Black Widow and the male Captain Marvel. The original Captain Marvel. But yeah, they never came to consoles. And we still don't have them in the uh, remasters. They're forever exclusive. The Mongols enslave our people. They camp along the Kushi River, not far from this shrine. Destroy them. The Mongols enslave our people. They camp along the I want that Superman River. game they tease a few years shrine. back. Yeah, that... Destroy them. This is my fight. I don't know. The spirits. Uh, they... We could have. Um, Warner Brothers... I think it was Montreal that they, they pitched it to, like, the main Warner Brothers execs, and they, they turned it down. It was actually after... I think it was after Arkham Knight. But they turned it down. It never left. It never even got to production. It was just an idea. That really sucks, though, because we need a good Superman game. He hasn't had his Arkham yet. Not Mongols. Ours. Why were they killed? Shieldmen. It took impressive skill to kill them. Cable's DLC for Ultimate Alliance. Oh, on 360? Okay. Then it was, I think it was Hawkeye and, not Hawkeye, it was Black Widow and uh, Captain Marvel then. I think there were more, but I'm not, I don't know exactly who. Sony has the rights to Spider, yeah, Sony's got all the, well, they have all the video game rights. Uh, well, I'm sorry, not video game rights, they have all the, uh, the merchandising rights. And movie rights, which, I assume video games are listed under merchandise. I'll free you. Yeah, the contract with Marvel's complicated with Sony. Tell me what happened. The spirit. He cut through them all. Then he left. Thought I was going to die in a cage. Who were these people with the Mongols? They're the ones who sold me. Holding off on Avengers until I see more. It depends on how much Miss Marvel's in it, because I hate that Thank character. You. Yeah, I don't really care about that character either. I'm I'm hoping it's the kind of thing like I don't mind if the game, obviously uh, she's a main character and if the storyline semi revolves around her, but I don't want to be playing as her more than the other Avengers. You know, like I don't want her to to take the Avengers plays. I I want to I want to play as whoever I want to, which I I imagine at the beginning of the game you'll probably be playing exclusively as her. From the trailer, it seems that way, and then you'll have to track down each individual Avenger. I just, it's not even just, I don't know, I don't even know why I don't like that character. I've never really been attracted to, like, the stretchy characters, you know? Like, Mr. Fantastic, I don't like playing as either. It's just, I don't, it's, to me, it's not fun playing as those characters. I, I don't, I don't care about those powers. Can't tell if I'm looking at cla uh, smoke or fog. Keep going this way. I can probably see better if I get higher ground. With the release of DLC or another update, we're also getting another master level for Doom Eternal. I haven't even done those master levels yet. Freaking love Doom Eternal, though. White Smoke, where are you?
Let me look around here. Ideally, I don't want to play as her as all. Yeah, you, you will be playing as her, definitely. That, there's not going to be a way around. How much is what's in question? Oh, there it is. So when Elongated Man from The Flash got fired, you were indifferent. I didn't care about that character in the show at all. I really didn't. I didn't even really look into why he got fired, but like... Yeah, Elongated Man as a character, I didn't care about him in the show. I'm probably getting it because I like Square Marvel in certain aspects. Keep my expectations low. I, I eat up those combo games, though, so like I, I have to get it. And they already showed off Hawkeye. So the fact that Hawkeye is going to be in it at all, I'm like, okay... You sold me. Another shrine to the spirit. If there was a message here, the spirit already claimed. Is it Mr. Fantastic Son, most powerful hero? Yep. Franklin. A battle close by. Insane power level mutant. Follow the sounds of combat. Yeah. Yeah, next week's Samurai Jack game. I want to play that game. I don't know if I'm going to get a day one, but. Eventually, I'm going to get it. Yeah, I think that Doom Eternal DLC is coming out really soon. I, I It's just DLC. They're not. I, I don't think it's going to be the kind of thing where they're like, they announce it and then they're going to be like, spring 2021. It'll come out soon. Oh, did he, did he actually do racist tweets? Or is it one of those things... Because, you know, sometimes now when actors say stuff, like, they get accused of racist tweets, and then you read it, you're like, that's not... Right? Like, something that's clearly a joke. But I, I don't know. I'm not defending him. I, I just didn't even look into it. I kind of stopped watching The Flash. I kind of stopped watching all those CW shows. Like, they... I lost interest in them. There's a way in through that opening below. Black Lightning was good, though. I, I genuinely thought that one stayed good. All the other ones to me just got kind of kind of boring. Wait, where? Is that an entrance below? Man, this is some kind of like old hermit, like some Obi Wan living in here. Ooh, Deathstroke game would be cool. I'd buy it. Thought that was an entrance. Yeah. Old race tweets from before he got hired. At the end of the day, I don't know why people say certain things publicly on social media when you're trying to be a public figure. Because it's kind of like... It's kind of like when you get a job and they look at your social media. You know? It, it happens in, like, regular day jobs. I mean, so actors shouldn't be held to higher standards, you know? Or to lower standards. Yeah, Deathstroke's got that animated movie, and uh, there's a Superman movie coming, too. That looks really good, actually. Superman, Man of Tomorrow. The animation looks awesome. Do you like the Misako side quest? I haven't finished them, I don't think. There's still some more. I've been saving a lot of the side quests. Because I wanted to open up the whole island. A banner of Clan Yarikawa. Is it a samurai that survived? Written by an educated hand. Maybe. But the words are nonsense. Something about the Lord Yarikawa being alive. Did a samurai of Clan Yarikawa survive? Interesting. I have to find whoever this is. I need to look for another shrine offering. This is an interesting little side story. I just view entertainers as usually super dumb with rare exceptions. <laughs> 
I, I think it comes down to a lot of them get famous and then think they're untouchable. Which, like, to me, I don't know. Like, to me, people shouldn't be crucified for old, stupid things they said. But at the same time, like I said, in a regular day job, if your manager goes on social media and finds some crazy shit you said, you can also get fired, you know? At the end of the day, it's these big companies care about their image. Oh, white smoke. Mr. Crow, welcome. Hey, no worries if you're late. This is the second thing where we did a side quest, and now we're doing the, a mythic tale. Think Superman needs to come back in the limelight. Too often they portray him as evil or incompetent these days. Yeah, I thought it was cool and injustice. And then the movie kind of sort of pushed that way in a way. Um, but yeah, it's you've done it enough. I, I don't really see need to see any more evil Superman. Like, Injustice did a good job of that, and it was pretty shocking at the time. Now it's just, oh, here we go again. I, I don't need to see more of it. Another offering to the spirit. Lord Sakai is the last of his clan, and a servant of the dog Shimura. Lead him to the Garden of the Gods so they may witness his death. Prayer to the spirit. To kill me, I'll go to the Garden of the Gods and end this. Attend this goose chase. When's the next Resident Evil Arkham City stream? I don't know. The um, reason I say that because October, I have a ton of streams I'll be doing kind of Halloweenish related content. Um, I have a Resident Evil stream set up in October. I'll say that much. Um, I don't know exactly what date in October yet, just because I'm, I'm trying to see where everything kind of fits together, but there will be a Resident Evil stream in October. The hell was that? Sounded like someone ripping ass. Oh, there's people in there. I mean, Brie Larson could say I refuse to hire people of a certain race and sex for my interviews and things about punishment. So, yeah, I mean, I think that's stupid, too, that she said. That's what I mean. I, I think all these actors just say whatever they will and, you know, I don't know. Either way, I, I usually don't get worked Lord up Sakai. over what an actor says or does. I just don't care. Tell me where to find the Garden of the Gods. You're close. Look for the statues of our gods, created by the sculptor Zonkaku. They stand watch over the garden. freaking garden around here even in justice i want more than anything for superman to try and redeem himself yeah i thought that's what they were doing at the end of injustice too and i, I feel like that was kind of a failed story opportunity because I, I felt they were they were slowly working their way towards that in a natural way um and then he just went right back to evil superman for his ending oh not even his ending for both endings so yeah i, I agree with that I'm, I'm kind of hoping Injustice 3. I don't know. I, I'm kind of done with that universe. Injustice 3, if they ever do that, I think it'd be cool if they um, go to another alternate universe. You know, if it's not just that, that same Injustice universe. Tell you for Goku to curve Samsu. I'm not going to get to Goku versus Superman. You guys know my feelings on that. I got I to gotta, I gotta throw in with, with my boy Goku there. I don't know what I'm looking for. They said some statues. I don't see any statues, though. Look for the fireflies. Did I just see one? Oh, I see some over here. Alright, follow the fireflies. They're kind of scattered about, though. Let's 
see it leads me back here. Beerus kicked the shit out of Sailor Galaxy and killed her super brutally. Yeah, you can't take on Beerus. That's nuts. Okay, there's more fireflies. I feel like I'm straying too far, but there's more fireflies over here. Look for a plume of smoke rising from the garden. Oh, is it more white smoke? I guess. Oh, there's a bunch of fireflies over here. Whoa. Holy crap. There's a ton of them. Spirit. He was just here. Oh, this looks awesome. Statues of the gods. This must be their garden. Oh, is there going to be a duel here? Shrine. This looks very much like a duel area. <laughs> I bet there is. This note's addressed to me. Yarikawa's vengeance has come for you. Yarikawa's vengeance has come for you. So you're the spirit. Dressed like a conehead. The wind that stirs the ashes. I am Yarikawa's vengeance. You spill blood using a technique that died with the clan of traitors. Who are you? A samurai's daughter? Did you survive the rebellion? No Most of the Mythic Quest are duels. Yeah, but I've done like one or two. I didn't have one, I don't think. Man, why are you fighting me? I got nothing against you. Who asked you to kill me? Instead, they can ally with me. Bow to you, the merchants who smile as you pay them. All Yarikawa prays for the death of Clan Sakai Damn. and Shimura. Not everyone. Some forgive. The rest weep for revenge. I will bring them comfort. All right. She's asking for death. <laughs> I love this environment. Yarikawa is your grave. Don't put that sword away while you're fighting me. Oh, I missed. What are you doing? Learning. I know how to defeat you. No, you will die. Unleash Stance of Wrath. Whoa. You are a great warrior. You that rage blind you to the true enemy. The Damn, that's cool. To me now. I use it as you should have. That's badass. So that can take on shielded enemies too. And the ghost grows more powerful. Omukade's revenge, inhuman strength, and venomous onslaught. Oh, is that another sword? See what it looks like. Nah. No, this one. No, I don't like that at all. I'll stick with what I have. Destroyed! That moves very handy in duels. And yes, I can bypass shielded enemies. It's gonna be awesome during boss battles. If I can use it. Um, Black Die Merchant. You know what? I haven't been to the merchant in a bit. It's not a guaranteed kill, but it will kill shielded enemies' guards. 
Although I already like how my clothes is colored, but let's see what the, the merchant has to say. I want to buy everything for completion's sake anyway. A samurai? Are you alive or a spirit? Alive. For now. And wondering what you do here. I fear the secrets of my dyes would go to waste. But a samurai lives. My colors are midnight. Trees blackened by fire. Eyes dark with yearning. Bring me the right material. You'll dye your armor more black. I will clothe you, my lord. It's gonna be even darker. Um. I mean, it's got like a different like tint to it, I guess. It gets a little shinier, I guess. The darkness suits you. Just buy everything. Everything I can afford. The Mongols will think the very shadows have come for them. Monochrome Masters? I just got a trophy. To achieve the perfect shade. Um. Oh, I could have died my bow. Oh, man. I could have died my bow. I will return with more flowers. See, I've got Shadow, Justice, and... What's the difference? Looks the same. Oh, this has a little bit more, um... Oh, yeah. Instead of... This has a little bit more, like, green. Yeah, I'll keep this. Thank you, Die Merchant. I'll come back with more flowers. <laughs> we need all the darkness. Hell yeah. One of Tomoe's training camps is around here. The ghost and the demon sensei. Wait a minute. What's this? Find someone who may have seen Ishikawa. Ah, the ghost! Don't kill me! What's going on? I will if you talk back to me. Speak That's with the frightened man. Dyed my half bow black and long bow white. Everyone knows you're attacking caravans. The ghost and the demon sensei. Sensei Ishikawa? That's a lie. I've heard you myself. Heard us? When? Not long ago. Tearing up the road like starving wolves. Okay, you know what would be amazing? If they had Predator DLC. Like, if you actually, if Predator traveled here, could have heard legends about the ghost, and then you had to sword fight with the Predator. Find out who's responsible. In Predator lore, Predators did come to Japan during Feudal Japan era. Damn, that'd be cool. They could work it out somehow. Look for Ishikawa north of Kawamata Village. Oh, yeah, we got a standoff. Let's do a triple kill. Unless I mess up. I thought I almost did. I'm going to try out my dance. Come here, big man. Whoa. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. Or would you rather have Assassin's Creed and Predator crossover? That'd be cool, too. Man, that'd be awesome, because imagine this. Uh, the Predator is completely camouflaged. You're in a mission using your eagle vision, and then you suddenly something glowing that's not there. And it's a Predator camouflaged. That'd be so awesome. Spent so much time picking up every little scrap of consumables. That's my problem. That I could find in the beginning of the game. Now I have everything upgraded. I have a shitload of crap I can't use. It's going to be all right. They were going to feed me to their animals. It's all right now. That's cold as ice. It's over. I was just trying to find some place warm. I didn't know they'd taken the farmhouse on the western coast of Sago Prefecture. You can go back. After I've dealt with him. Oh, I forgot about my technique point. I gotta spend it. I 
I got all the stances upgraded. I want to start working on these. Knocks down enemies struck by the shockwave of powder bomb. Throw firecracker. I'll do firecracker. Yes. Give me all the trophies. Honestly, don't think Jin or any assassin is prepared for the Predator Plasma Cannon. I mean, be a sword fight. We'll just battle. Just gotta keep them close. Jin can beat a Predator, damn it. I have the power. I have Ghost Dance and all kinds of stuff. Or the, the freaking... Deadly Dances and Heavenly Strikes. Explosive Arrows. God, they insist on having an arrow battle. Oh, I'm going up there. Close range. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. I thought that was one of their archers. That's, that's him. Oh, you stole my kill. About time you showed up. You're welcome, Sensei. I like this character, though. Now, Kratos would obliterate a predator. Oh, yeah, he's <laughs> destroyed many predator equ or predator equivalents. Stronger than predator. What Predators have real strange ideas of honor using plasma cannons and shit. Yeah, they're all honorable until they whip out the plasma cannon. People say you're stealing supplies. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. With the Mongols. Rest easy. I'll discuss this with Lord Sakai. Tomoe is behind this. She sows paranoia and fear. Attacking caravans, blaming us. I called up to his group too late. I'm so getting tired of his student, man. Ambushed. I we gotta take care of her. Ambushed. Close. Why? Find the ambush site. Track the rest of Tomoe's group to their camp. That makes sense. What's wrong? Nothing. She has me off balance. We'll put an end to that. Rest here. Goes for Zetsio would win. Ghost. You Thank you, he, he's just way quicker. He, <laughs> he would definitely win. If we're taking into account game mechanics. Just made it to Alexandria and Origins. Do you know how much I have left? <laughs> you have a hell of a long way to go. <laughs> heard a convoy you, yeah, you, you have a... How many hours do you have into the game? Roughly. When I caught wind of a merchant chancing a supply run... I followed. Oh wait, Origins. I, I thought you meant Odyssey. Why would Tomoe attack supply runs in Kushi Prefecture? There's no strategic importance. No, <laughs> but Kushidera Temple inspires people. It would be a Mongol effort to break morale here. You don't sound convinced. I think that's part of it. Not all. Tomoe betrayed everything I taught her. And then she betrayed me. And after me, her home. I'll hunt her past the horizon if I must. I have 20, 29 hours. Got a little bit of way to go. It's a long game, but um, made some progress. Odyssey is way the hell longer, but yeah, you still got a pretty good amount to go. There's the convoy. There, there's a lot of twists and turns in the story that you haven't even you haven't even come close to reaching yet. Let's Predator wouldn't stand a chance against the cardboard box. <laughs> oh, it's a solid snake. But what if he shoots the cardboard box with the shoulder cannon? No other survivors. Just snake can't survive that. Of course. It's a warning to the people of Kushi. From Tomoe. Kushi. Sakai and Sensei Shikawa. No travel is permitted on these roads. On pain of death. Crude. But effective. I will travel on whatever road I want to travel. Fun game, but Final Fantasy Remake is on sale, so I bought it and I had to finish three games. Oh, three games. 
I don't know what it felt like having to only finish three. Hurry. One day I'll get to that. Snake will pop out from behind him and snap his neck. Would even have the strength as a human to, to snap a predator's neck, though. I feel like the predator would just kind of, like, throw him. Quickly. You would have to press circle multiple times. You know what I do to get rid of the thunder here? I play the flute. Does that get rid of the thunder? Wait a minute. What do you have? The Ocarina of Time? Controls weather and shit? I like the thunder. It gives me cover. Why is she the cover of the storms. I'll cut her loose. You'll be free soon. Oh no. No, please. No. I had no idea the flute controls the I never play the flute. She said. I like the storms. She said. Tomoe, what did she say? She said I could live until the summer right came. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. No, on the ledge! Wow. Man, she should have hauled ass and run. Hold on, man. Oh, I didn't even mean to do the explosive. Damn. This got crazy. Oh, fucker's still alive. Damn, they were using that lady as bait. We must avenge her death. Yeah, Rogue, I need to collect more singing crickets. I've only collected, like, two different ones. I haven't run into very many. <laughs> they did have the high ground. And we walked right into it. I spoke with her two days ago. Tomoe? The captive. Heard her talking about a Japanese woman she saw with the Mongols. I asked her to find out where they were camped and report back. You did what? It could have gone the other way. We'd be standing over Tomoe's body instead. You talk about what it means to be a warrior. How Tomoe undermines that. But you and she are the same. You expect us to be perfect. Damn. Next time you're doing a shrine, look for frog statues. I did. I did that accidentally. And a bunch of frogs, like, popped up. Only a child expects it's crazy. Elders. Finish your thought, Sensei. We all carry weapons. We all choose between life and death. And you're too comfortable with that power. And if I weren't, I would be dead. And so would you, ghost. Damn, he air-quoted me. Can be a samurai. He put quotations around that. But we're all killers. We still have a camp in what kind of movie do you plan to community stream? <clears throat> um, I don't know. I, I I was looking up horror movies that are um public domain. There's there's not a lot of them that that are really well known. Uh, Night of Living Dead's one, and there's another one called The Screaming Skull. I think it's called, which I I might actually order the Blu-ray on Amazon because I I saw that movie and it's like. I think I, I I think a Cinemasker they talked about it. Um, I think they talked about it on a, one of his Monster Madness episodes, and it, it's so stupid. I might have to do a, a stream on that. But yeah, it's public domain, so I, I'm able to do that. It's just this like fake ass looking skull that that's just flying around, and I mean that that's it. <laughs> and people are running away from it, scared. I don't want to jump down there. I don't know if I can make this jump. I'm going for it. Nope. <laughs> the game didn't even let me try to try to make that landing. It's like... Dring.
Did you battle at the docks by the training circle? You had a tutorial with your uncle? No, I didn't do that. But well, something else happens? Oh, we got now another game collector in the house. Welcome. Will YouTube copyright claim your horror movie stream? No, it not if they're public domain. Um, well, I mean, then again, I, I don't know. Because YouTube's bot is, is, is stupid. <laughs> so I, I don't know what it'll do. But um, as far as um, movies that are public domain basically means that no one really retains the actual copyright. So there, there's no one could really claim it as theirs. For various reasons. I was trying to... Oh, I can't go in there. It's my uncle's camp. I was going to the trapper. I could do that at a different place, though. Oh, you know what? Let's go here, because... Her is tail 7 out of 9, so we're almost done with her. One of the conspirators in the Adachi Massacre is hiding in Kushi. Territory is heavily occupied by the Mong Mongol. Oh, and then, uh... Okay, there's another farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna go here for sure. Come here, fake horse. How funny would it be if the skull was flying around saying, I'm gonna get you, and people run away from it? Yeah, it's just a, it's just a flying skull that doesn't talk. And people run away from it, and somehow, I guess it kills people. It's supposed to be like a haunted skull or something. It's a really stupid idea, but it'll make for a fun stream. What I'll probably end up doing... I was thinking of when I... I'll probably stream those like a little earlier, like on Saturdays. And then we'll just afterwards jump into a community stream. No! Stupid horse. My original horse would survive that just fine. His legs are made of steel. Been binging AVGN lately. Every once in a while, I'll binge his uh, entire season sets. Like, when I'm editing. Usually while I'm editing, I'll just have it playing in the background. Are you playing as a ghost? Um... Yeah, for the most part. <laughs> I, I haven't really done you know, a lot of uh, Who's there? Show <laughs> samurai techniques. I've just been doing ghost stuff. I guess that's always why. That's why I always have bad weather. Board, yeah, I man, Board James was one of my favorite um, YouTube series that he did. It sucks that he doesn't do them anymore, but they were good. It, it was very. A lot of those board games are very nostalgic to me. I could walk the rest of the way. This guy by himself over there. See if I can get his face. <laughs> yes. Oh man, there's no one else around here. I like standing in front of the hostage to show off the ghost skills. To impress the hostage. Shouldn't you liberate the farm for... Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Did poor James kill his friends? Wasn't, um... It was the dream... Was it the dream phone that killed them? And that one... It was the dream phone, right? Not Mr. Bucket? The Mr. Bucket episode was like YouTube gold at the time. That was gold. I'm gonna stuck on your balls! <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Oh! The hell was that? Excuse you. Don't you ever disrespect me again. Hold still. 
Josh, welcome. I owe you my life. Go. Mr. Bucket didn't kill them, but he did bite Mike's balls, yeah. That was so stupid. I, I like the part when uh, Mr. Bucket passes by the window and they play that uh, loud horror movie sound where something just pops up all of a sudden. It was pure gold. Thank you to the 52 of you in here watching me play this game repeatedly. But yes, we are nearing the end of the adventure. Kind of. So much for pressing the hostage. No, I did. All right, I rescued them. That's all that matters. Ah, yeah. See, she's impressed. Oh, no! Oh, I thought she was on fire. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta stop it with those arrows. Alright. I'll protect you, lady. Just stand right here. The hell? How do I get it? Oh. Oh. Hostage impressed. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no. They're going to kill the other hostage. <gasps> I got to get over there now. Don't try it. Damn it, I was about to use Ghost Dance, too. Literally seconds from doing it. I can't see, this curtain's fluttering in my face. It's ambiguous if the Dream Phone killed them or if it was James. We gotta, so we gotta, we gotta know which ending is canon. The Boar James. The Boar James verse. I like how when the fate of the Republic is in the balance, Fabian hates saving people, but when sexy geishas are in danger, he's all for being a hero. I'm just saying, I, I wanted to show the ghost skills so they have confidence in their, um, in their hero. That's all. He's being a respectful gentleman. Enemy is nearby. He's not nearby. He's far away. <sighs> if I must. But this guy is blown up. And then being stabbed. There. Oh, come on. You're telling me that's not impressive to the ladies? Shooting a fire arrow at someone, an explosive arrow, and then charging in and doing one swipe, and then cleaning your sword? Come on. Please, help! Hold still. We thought our farm was lost, Lord Sakai. Did the Mongols take your key to Kosaka's armor? No. You may have it. Yeah. If the Mongols come, they'll get nothing from us. That's the last key. The musician said the armor is atop a hill in Akashima. Oh, I'm ready. I think I'm ready for the armor now. I think. Oh, did I not finish freeing it? Board James makes an appearance in AVGN episode where he talks about AVGN fan made and official. Yeah, I remember that. He's like, Did you kill your friends? He's like, It wasn't me. Oh, I was done with you people. Alone. I see you running away. Oh, he got shot in the dick.
Your farmland is free. This guy over there probably shouldn't be bathing in there. there there's a lightning storm coming. Do you use your smoke or sticky bombs up? Not very often at all. I just go in with my sword. <laughs> but I use the smoke bombs more than the sticky bombs because they let you um, do like instant assassinations. Um, You know what? Let's go ahead and do the Unbreakable Gosaku. I think I have all the armor to get it now. Or all the keys. Oh, that's far away as hell. Hang on. All the way over here. But, that's what fast travel is. I wonder how cool this armor is going to look. Although I think I'll probably keep this one, but we'll see. <laughs> Cheat travel. I'm not traveling all that way when I can press a button that'll that'll nightcrawler teleport me over. Mongols. I got a surprise for you. Your death has arrived. He looks like a cartoon. Let's see how far he can go. What the hell happened to him? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, he's getting a little too far. Hold on. <laughs> I love doing that. He legit looked like a cartoon running away. Oh, look, this guy's alive still. Here, you want some of this? You want some of that? There you go. Oh, you want more? There. He literally looked like he was shitting his pants. Did you ever watch Cinemacro's history of Super Mega Death Crisis? He made a history video on that? No. And his arm was sliced off. Awesome. They run away as they're terrified of you. It counts as a kill. Well, and it doesn't count as a kill for me. He has to explode. He must. It's like a Zelda-style temple. I'm going to find the pieces of Triforce in here. Let's show a sign of respect here. Bow. Uh, should I have to grapple somewhere, maybe? Yep. Here we go. Simp! The Three Stooges Act lives on through the biological grandson of Curly. But he still does it. I think this is the only mythic quest that doesn't have a duel. Yeah, this one, I guess, you just kind of collect your armor and, and go on your way. I would assume. Oh, hell yeah. See what it looks like. They've been hyping the summer up like crazy. The Mongols will learn of its power firsthand. Sturdy. Surprisingly light. Looks alright. I don't know. 
I, I like my ghost armor better. But it's okay. I think it's you that told me when you upgrade it, it looks awesome. I like my ghost armor. Oh, I gotta get a better look at it. Got the headband. Throw two additional kunai? Looks alright. However, like I said, I like my ghost armor. We're, we're gonna we're gonna stick to that. And my headband of what was it? I think it was my headband of death. No, fear. I think I wanna equip Damn, what charm do I get rid of though? I like the one with two additional kunai. 15% increase to resolve gains. Damn, I don't know what to get rid of. <sighs> Killing enemies restores a moderate amount of health. I don't feel this has really made much of a difference for me in the game. Increase supply. <sighs> well, I, I, I'll cut that one, I guess. I, I like the idea of throwing uh, additional, additional weaponry. Yeah, it's cool. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna keep that. This armor dyed blue is one of the pieces to get the Cooper Clan cosplay trophy. Oh, I got to do that too. Have you done all those straw hat duels? No, I haven't. I, I've been saving those. I did one of them. Oh, there's a question mark over here. Ooh. No! I fell. Damn it, I'm trying to find an easy way down. I'll just get down here and I'll go around, I guess. Here we go. Where's Batman Mask of the Phantasm on your list of Batman movies? Um, that's one of my favorites. I genuinely love that movie. I like that one almost as much as Under the Red Hood. That, that Phantasm was great. And actually, I saw that in theaters. Yes, that did come out in theaters. Huge deal back then, too. What was... Oh, fuck. I want to see what color that was. Oh, that's ugly. I don't want that. In the words of Obi-Wan, hello there. <laughs> Too bad you have the high ground. I think there's one... I'm sure I get more of them, but... um. Oh, wait, I can't do that yet. The Six Blades of Kojiro. I thought I heard the musician in Umugi Cave. I should find him. All the way over here. And I could get a trapper upgrade while I'm here. Make some good progress tonight. Going through some of these side things. You know what I, I what I love about this the most though about the side quests in this game is they don't feel tedious, like they actually feel like each one feels like it has a different storyline, and that that's that's one criticism I do have on Assassin's Creed Odyssey. A lot of the fetch quests are oh this person's sick they need these medicinal herbs can you take them over there and then you take them over there or you get to someone and they just ask you for money, so they they kind of copy and paste a lot of side quests to pad the length. So the, I, I think this genuinely does a better job at, at the side questing, which uh, Valhalla should be interesting because that's one thing they're addressing is the side quest thing. Um, they already said the side quests are going to be more like um, events spawning from missions, so that should be interesting. I was going to say this game until I save under the save hood. Why? Witcher is the best written side quest. I haven't played that yet. I've heard that, though. 
Please. Yamato. I have a message for you. What's wrong? A demon is going to kill me if I don't tell you his tale. Don't waste my time. Demons are just legends. Not this one. His name is Kojiro, and he cannot die. We'll see about that. Long years ago, Kojiro was a straw hat ronin. So fearsome, deadly, and bloodthirsty, his own brothers turned against him. From dawn until dusk, dozens of straw hats fought Kojiro. Damn. He they fought him all night. All. Those who escaped that day disowned Kojiro from the Straw Hat ranks. I hate the Straw Hats, man. They're traitors. Again. The spirits of death were so astonished by Kojiro. They blessed his armor to grant him a tireless sword arm. He's now more than a man. He's a slayer of legend. When the Straw Hats betrayed our people, and joined the Mongols. They welcomed Kojiro back as a brother. Five killers oh, of great. Straw Hats have joined Kojiro. Oh, these are the Straw Hat duels? An oath to kill you. Kojiro wants me to know I'm hunted. Yeah, I did one of these. Oh my god. No need, my lord. They're only traitors Kojiro that the Mongols lose, that is true. History paints the uh, but you must earn that paints the story or the victors paint history. The five straw hats who joined him. It seems I already accepted this challenge without realizing it. And you know they're waiting across the region, and will use innocent people to draw you to them. I'll finish this and make sure Kojiro dies as he should have all those years ago. Be careful. I've never met a man like him before. Demon or no demon, he goes I'm down. Not even sure he is a man. At level three, this armor is a Kung Lao hat. Ooh, I like the idea of wearing a Kung Lao. Yeah, I like my bandana though. I don't know. It gives me too many, too many customization choices. Locate the Straw Hat assassins in Toyotoma. Well, there's one right here. Let's take a shortcut. You want to die already? It seems. Duel among the lilies. It's fast travel there. Heard you waiting for me. Yuzo said you're the greatest swordsman he ever met. I had to see for myself. You'd be better off taking his word for it. I've trained with the blade since I could walk. There's no one left to challenge me but you. This is so unnecessary. We could easily join forces. They're choosing not to. I want to try my triple strike on him. I want to see how much damage it does. Did an okay amount of damage. <laughs> Use those stories, don't do you justice. They never did. I would have preferred to do more damage because I wasted all my resolve. I need my resolve back. Yeah, I'll get it back. One of these guys you fought in a rainstorm is actually a pretty cool character. Stories don't do you justice. They never did. Just give up. Whoa.
Here we go. There we go. Finish him. <laughs> Triple strike. I like how you can find it where all their hats. The only hat I would like is Kung Lao hat. You fought well, but we're finished. Clearly. Do you like the movie Batman Sub Zero? That was good too. I got the uh, I have the box set for the animated series, and it comes with that one too. Sub Zero and Mask of the Phantasm were both really good. Uh, more duels, more duels. Duel of Crashing Waves. Damn it, I got nowhere near there. Well, oh wait, there's a farm here. This is close. These duels are tight. Yeah, I like these duels. They're a lot of fun. Triple Strike will annihilate your common enemies. Did a number on the Straw Hats, too, but... Oh, man. I kind of... I want to get my resolve back, though. Before I get to another fight. Maybe I'll run some Mongols along the way. I wish I could take my bow and arrow out during the duels. You know how quick that fight would end? Bow and arrow right in the face. Boom. Done. That's it. Where are you, Mongols? Now nobody wants to fight me? Oh, shit. Well, got a little bit of walking to do here. In the meantime, I shall drink beer. <laughs> Poor Phoebe, he's lost his resolve. I need my little my little moons to, to glow again. Little suns, whatever those circles are. It's like when I actually want to run some Mongols, I, I can't find any. We'll try to do it with the resolve I have now. Screw it. Anyone over here? Oh, yes. Here we go. He'd rather eat the rotten asshole roadkill skunk and down it with beer. Nice. Yeah, there goes my resolve. It's going up. Give me some more, yeah! Fill me up, fill me up! There we go. I'm full now. Oh, here, you guys can have this. Right here. Full resolve. I hear someone struggling. Oh, both of them. See, I did the honorable thing. The monk. They were searching him. What were they looking Wait, no, I'm not doing this mission yet. I want to fight the straw hat. Yeah, you. I gotta get to the other one. How far am I? Oh, is he down there? This way. Yeah, I, this environment's probably gonna be really cool here. I hope it's epic and they have a bunch of waves splashing around us. 
That's what they implied. There's a charm that makes your health regenerate outside of combat. I don't think I have that one. Because I probably would have equipped it. I had an idea that the Batman villains are either the reason he's still Batman or his justification for his boundaries of why he isn't like them. That That's a common character analysis that people do, though. Kind of the fact that like his his villains are, in a way, kind of like his treatment for his, his trauma as a child. There's all kind of philosophical, like, debates you can have about Batman and his world. It is an honor to meet you, my lord. Prepare for battle. I'm ready when you are. All you gotta do is keep fishing, man. Why, why are they so intent on fighting me? I promise yeah, see? I may only be a ronin, but I keep my word. As you wish. <laughs> see, Jin was willing to let him live, too. Seems like a good dude, too. You know what? Let me spam. I wonder if this will work. I was gonna, I was gonna do the uh, the triple hit and then a bunch of heavenly strikes. Let's see what happens. No, it wasn't enough. Damn it! I've wasted it all. Well, let's see if I can make it. I messed up. Oh, maybe, maybe I can do it. Oh. Damn, I'm right there. Whoa! <laughs> oh, he kicked me in the face. Almost. This spamming works. Yeah, let, let me not do that again. Because I got to the very end and all my resolve was gone. I got a little, little too uh, rambunctious in the end. I can spam at the end. Surrender, and you can live. Thank you. Five enough. Alright, now. There we go. <laughs> Foolish Ronin. I like that guy though. But he forced my hand. I hope you find true honor in your next life. All right. Uh, let's see where the others are. I saw it around here. There we go. Dual. Oh no, that one's complete. Scanning. Scanning. Oh, here. All the way over here. I have not explored any of that. Look at this. This is the closest. This seems like a straight shot, though. Death all traces. Indeed. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I need my resolve back, though. Mongols, where are you? You know the drill. Oh, it's a spring. Did I find that one already? No, I haven't. Let's get my health back. If he would have surrendered mid-fight, would you let him live? Well, no, it was already... He already started. You start, you gotta finish. <laughs> so, no. Changes in my uncle to fallen samurai. Uncle. <sighs> uncle seems so much older. Now I got some man-ass in water there. Aged him. Oh, I never noticed before. Forget your uncle. He betrayed you. You know, I wonder how it feels actually going to, like, those Japanese hot springs. Like, that water has to feel awesome. Because aren't they all, like... I mean, it's all natural hot springs. So, like, I wonder if it feels like a hot tub. Or if it's just, like, insanely hotter. Because some hot tubs can get pretty hot. I mean, I stayed at a hotel once in, in Tampa. And I remember we went to a hot tub there. And I, cu I couldn't even be in there for like a minute. They had it turned on like way too hot. Damn, that's still far. That might be the last Ronin, though, because I think I killed... Well, maybe not. I think I killed one before I actually did the mission. So I might have... I might have another one. Love the red cheese. Yeah, they look really cool. I'd like to bathe in a Japanese hot spring if I didn't have to share it with strangers. I, oh my god, that reminds me. I, once... Alright. Once I went on a cruise with... It was like a family cruise. It was me fiance, my aunt and uncle, my parents, my sister, my brother-in-law. Like, we were all together on this cruise. And my father and I, like, the women were all tanning and, and shit by the pool. My father and I didn't feel like doing that because we don't sit there and tan. <laughs> so we just kind of started walking around the ship exploring. And we, I wanted to check out the gym. So we, like, went to yeah. the gym area. And then we ended up in, like, this area of the ship where they do, like, spas and stuff where, of course, they charge you an outrageous price additional compared to what you've already paid to go on the cruise. And there was this one door that we were like, where does that lead into? We, we both at the same time looked through the little window in the door, not realizing that it was the locker room for the gym or, like, the, the sauna or something. It was a locker room. And <laughs> when we looked in there at the same time, there was this old naked man just like changing his clothes and like I'm telling you we saw everything like old wrinkly balls flappy stomach just right there we looked through them we're like oh god <laughs> Dude, I was laughing my ass off cuz like we hauled ass out of there like it's the first thing you see like you look through there and suddenly like old man balls <laughs> it's like oh my god we got to go it was one of the more horrifying experiences of my life <laughs> quite disgusting. But we didn't know where the hell we were. So, like, we learned our lesson. We just went to the top deck. <laughs> like, screw this. I'm not exploring anymore. I don't want to encounter any old man balls anymore. Oh, I gotta go down there. <laughs> Fuck, you're blind. Five Ronins plus their leader. See, yeah, I think there might be one more left then. And then their leader. Had to suck so much ass. Curiosity killed the cat. Yeah, exactly. But my thing is, like, maybe old people just don't give a shit. I, I don't I don't know, but it, it wasn't, like, a private area, you know? Like, it was right by the spa area, and then there was a door, like, to the left leading somewhere. We didn't know. We just looked through the window to see what it was, and old man balls. <laughs> so it's like, it, it, it's, it's a, a child could have just walked over and looked through the window. 
That's what I'm saying. Like, wh why are you naked? Why? Like I said, quite horrifying. There we go. Don't fall, Jin. As I said that, I almost fell. Look, he, he's a superhero. Like, he's even got a superhero cape. The Grey Ghost. I did once accidentally happen to cross a nude beach. Oh, uh, a bunch of old people. I can't say I, I've accidentally crossed one. I, I went to, well, it's not a nude beach, but uh, in Miami, um, me and my fiance took a trip to Miami, and, um, you know, we, we just kind of went to the boardwalk, and or not really, they don't really have a boardwalk, we just kind of went to South Beach and had a couple drinks, then she wanted to, like, lay down on the beach, and we go there, and, like, we didn't realize it was, it was, like, a topless allowed area, so there was this girl, um, she had to been, like, 20 feet away from us just laying there topless and the it was the most uncomfortable thing because they were like these teenage they look like teenage boys that were just kind of like hovering around her and i'm looking at them and i'm like what the fuck like what is wrong with you like you could tell they didn't need to be in the area but they kept kind of wandering back and forth and it was clear that while this girl was like laying down tan and topless they just kind of hovered around her <laughs> it, it's very... I, I don't know. It, that, that's that's creepy behavior. Is it raining where you are? Not at all, actually, for once. Duel under autumn leaves. I didn't, I didn't get my resolve back, though. Damn it. This is madness. You're not a warrior, just a murdering dog. That's the spirit. Come on, Sakai. I've been looking forward to this. Sakai! Oh man, he's gonna beat me. I need my powers. Fear me! What is resolve? You keep talking the the little the little moons by my health. Like I can use them to regenerate health. See, I don't have anything because I didn't recover them before the battle. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna need them. I can only take a couple hits and it's all gone already. I think I got the charm to wear like. I think you block, you get, yeah, see, I get a little more if I block. Kanetomo! If you had gotten here sooner, I'm here now. Damn. Unblockable. Not gonna make it. Might need to find some Mongols. Just got home from work and sitting here eating pie, pie hop, I hop hanging. I haven't eaten I hop in forever. We got near, we got one near us, but every time we eat at I hop, it's never that good. Sooner. I'm here now. How dare you attack me? Fool. Ah, the lanterns in my way. Come 
Come on, I'm so close. No. Oh, fuck. oh, you son of a bit. Like two more hits and I would have had him. Dick. Oh, you almost got me. He don't be alive. If you had gotten here sooner, Tassel's a monster. He's annoying. As far as I'm concerned, all the straw hats are monsters. Oh no! Yeah, one more hit. I'm dead. I'm screwed. Unless I can pull this out of my ass somehow. No! Ah, I thought I had him for a second. Yeah, Straw Hats are Templars. Man, I can't wait to stream Assassin's Creed China. And that, the Templars are the, uh, the Tigers. That's what they call themselves. Give up, man. I'll let you live. Alright, I'm doing better this time. I'm here now. Pansy. Stop depending on unblockable attacks. Yeah, I hate when they go crazy. When they start doing those endless combos. This one gave me trouble too. I wonder if he's programmed to be harder. I noticed his attacks last longer than some of the others. Like I said, it would help to find my resolve. Got nothing. Maybe I'll do it now. Oh no, there he goes, there he goes. Oh, got me in the face. Didn't reach deep enough into the ass to pull it. There are charms that restore your resolve in fights. Yeah, I think I have a couple of them equipped. I think I have the one where if you, um... I don't remember. Like, you get resolved for doing parry, I think. Which I've been getting a little bit, but it doesn't give me a lot. Or, like, with every hit or something. Damn, he does seven attacks there. Seven. See, the problem is you're trying to pull out of your ass while you should be aiming for his. I'm going to put my sword in his ass then. And then twist. Could go find some Mongols. Ah! 
I just need like one group of Mongols. I'm already here though, screw it. Might as well just fight. that out. Don't be an asshole. Maybe I got him this time. I could do my triple attack, but I'm saving. I'm, I'd rather have the health. I'm going to save it. Damn, should I do it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna risk it. Oh man, that might have been a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Oh god. <gasps> this might be a one hit. Oh no! Please. Oh ho ho! One hit! <laughs> Woo! The legendary one hit man had my back during this battle. He bestowed me with his with his with his blessings. Damn, that was that was rough. That was close. Spread his cheeks like butter on bread. The cheeks have been clapped. Alright. Damn! Who's next? I don't see anybody. Wait. Duel under falling water. So we got a waterfall duel? Man, let, let's let's hope I run some Mongols on the way there. Will one hit man get an emoji? Oh yeah, I got the little one hit man design now. I could make an emoji out of him. Thanks to Stark845. I don't think he's here in the chat, but... Yeah, he, he he does fan art sometimes, and he sent that to me, and I was like, you know what? That's cool. On my Teespring, I made, like, a little merch with... Of course, I asked his permission, because I, I didn't do the design. He said it was perfectly fine. But I, I put it up, uh, like, the, the, the actual face masks, like, COVID masks, you can make on Teespring now. So I made a couple of those, and um, a mug. I haven't made a shirt yet, but I'll get around to it. But yeah, the he personified one hitman as a... Uh, a Mega Man character, which is really cool. <sighs> Come on, Mongols. Like, now they're afraid of me? Oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to find a hot spring. I, I could just go to the hot spring. What's the closest one? Right here. This refills my, um, my health and my resolve, doesn't it? Oh, it doesn't fill up my resolve? I thought it did. It's BS. Maybe I've simply just killed too many Mongols. They no longer want to have anything to do with Tsushima. Sponsible citizen, welcome. To another Ghost of Tsushima stream. We are on a mythic quest now. Wait, this is a mythic one, right? Yeah, I think it is. Nice cave, yeah, this is a superhero cave. Is there a Mongolian camp or fortress? You know what? That's a good point. Maybe I'll just do this one real quick. Because that'll at least fill everything back up, and I'll, I'll take care of a side thing. So, yeah, I, I guess I'll do that. Mongorians come out to pray. <laughs> they will be destroyed. They must.
Mongolians interrupting my quest. All right, come on, horsey. We got to go murder some people. By the way, I've been playing, um, as many of you know, I, I, oh, look, look who we have. I've been, uh, working on some Legacy of Kane content. Um, so I've been playing through all the games and I, I'm almost done with the original. Um, man, that game is like Blood Omen. At first it felt super up outdated, but, um, it, it's a damn good game. But let me tell you, like, the loading screens, like old PS1, those loading screens are crazy long. Oh, man. I wanted to hit him with that. Got him. Oh. Uh, I thought I was done. No, but I was saying in um, Legacy Kane Blood Omen, like, everything you do has a long-ass loading screen. Like, you pause, you save, you walk through the door. Like, everything just stops, and you have to sit there and wait. There's no escaping the Outdated Blood Omen. No, it's a great game. I agree. But I'm just saying, like, some of its features, since since it's a product of its time, like, like the whole loading thing, like, a lot of it's, like, technologically outdated. The game is damn good. The roads. Right now, I'm, um, I just killed the, I'm on the way to fight Malik, which is the second, the second dude you gotta fight, uh, but I fought him and then he vanished, so now I had to go talk to some oracle, and now I gotta go find him again or something. Yeah, it's cool though, but I'm I'm excited to play the more modern ones uh, that don't have those technological limitations as much. All right, the camp can wait. I got my resolve back, so we're good now. Good for a duel. I like how Kane monologues his journey to even his weapons and spells. Yeah. I, I love that because it really makes the whole, like, the lore of the entire universe, like, really come alive. He just talks during the whole thing. Like, any sign you read, anytime you walk into a village, it's really cool. But sometimes, like, I'll load the map and then I'll accidentally pause and I'll sit there like, oh, now I gotta wait, like, ten seconds again like, for it to, like, unload off that screen. You ever heard of tried the Fatal Frame series? Yeah, I had, um, 1, 2... I owned on PS2 1 and 2. 3... What... What was 3? Was there a 3 on PS2 or was that another console? Because 2... 1 and 2 I owned. I, I like those games. At the time, I thought they were, like, the scariest games I ever played. Yeah, Legacy of Kane's a long-ass game, though. But, like, there's a lot to do, so I've just been exploring, like, every nook and cranny. I just got the bone armor, too, which is really cool. I'm gonna have to go down there. I'll meet you down there, good sir. Still have to play the Medieval Remake? Me too. I've been gotten it because I, I'm not even streaming it right now. Because I do want to stream it, so I'm not even going to buy it yet until I do. Lord Fatal Frame 3 released for PS2? I don't think I played 3. I'm not sure. Alright, gotta kill the guy with the taco on his head. Duel under the falling water with the Taco Warrior. It has to be last guy. Before the main one. 
I think that was all, like three. I think this is like number four, and then I did one before I did this, so. That would technically be five. Kyo Chica! Doing my job too. Whoop gas. That guy was actually super easy. He was worthless, see? Worthless, I say. Play Fatal Frame 3, be prepared to get lost. The map is huge. For some reason, I don't remember 3 at all. Like, even the front cover. I can't... I what was it called? Was it just Fatal Frame 3? Because Fatal Frame 2 was Crimson Butterfly. Speak with the musician again. In the meantime... We'll do the trapper upgrade. You can use ghost dance and duels too. I didn't even need to for that one. Fatal. Oh, fatal. Yeah, fatal frame three. The tormented. Yeah, I do remember that. I remember that with that subtitle. Yeah, and then four was the one. That was the one that was on the Wii. Or Wii. It was the Wii, and it was Japan only, right? But there are fan translations that, by the way, I could never get to work on um, the Dolphin emulator. Even though I've seen people on YouTube play it, so I, I don't know. I gotta try it again sometime. I'm sorry. I need more for that. Goodbye. Lord Sakai! Thank the gods! The straw hats that Kojiro wanted me to do are dead. He already knew, my lord. I told you. Spilled beer no all over my shirt, man. damn it. You saw him again. He came back. Told me you earned death by his hand. He'll wait for you in a cave at Omi Monastery. My own clan's territory. Man, I'm, pro I'm probably going to need full resolve for this one. Face him. With that demon-blessed armor, he'll never tire in battle. We'll see about that. Matthew Phillips, welcome. I'll pray for your victory. Locate the dual entrance, alright, and we will find Mongols along the way, I'm sure. Go to the Fox Den. The Wii title for Fatal Frame is Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. Yeah, that never got a US release, right? I believe that one didn't get one, and you have to get a, uh, a fan-translated mod. Which exists. Wasn't there a Wii U one also in Japan? Was there a Fatal Frame 5? I feel like I've seen it. That's, by the way, that's crazy to me that Fatal Frame made it into Smash. Like, as a spirit. That's so cool. Never thought I'd see a series like that in Smash. God. Whoa. Mongols? Mongols? Can I get some Mongols? Gonna have to fight this prick on, on... Running on fumes. Fatal Frame 5, the Black Maid in Water. That didn't get a US release either, did it? I don't know why they stopped releasing in the US. It's a good series. Oh god, I'm going to try this. I'm going to get my ass kicked. For sure. For sure. Lord Sakai. At I, last. I can end it now. Oh, come on. 
There was blood and everything. Damn it. The I failed. Your armor was blessed by demons, Kojiro. Do you believe him? I think you should have stayed a legend. Do you want another attempt at PlayStation All-Stars? Yeah, I would. I, I think they could do a better job second time around. I, I've always said that game would have been amazing if they had just ripped off Smash and copied the formula exactly. I, I would have been fine with that. I, I think it would have been a much better game. Oh, man, he's going to whoop my ass. He's going to whoop my ass. Come on, legend. Give me your resolve. I've killed a thousand men. Every death was sweet. The musician, the musician was right. You are a demon. <laughs> Got nothing. I got nothing. I might get close. Fuck. Nope. This guy's a monster. You think after this game, the musician will be telling the tale of the ghost? For sure. Absolutely. For many generations to come. You'll definitely pass them on Legends. Like in Origins, in Assassin's Creed Origins, you have that, that, in the DLC and the hidden ones, you have that one guy that does all the songs about Bayek. But Bayek, Bayek. I need to resolve, man. I want an Easter egg in this somewhere that shows traveling martial artists. It turns out to be Sagoda Senshiro. I haven't seen anything like that yet. Son of a bitch. Why did I come here so unprepared? I shot him in the face with an arrow. Realistically, he should be dead. Come on. You have my permission to die! Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that third strike that got me. I saw it coming too, and for some reason, I didn't move. By Agasonda appreciated, yeah. Which uh, a lot of people bring up the fact that why didn't the assassins remember him? But that kind of tied into his story. Because he, like in the Hidden Ones DLC, when they come up with the Creed, him and Aya, they say it's basically bigger than them. So in their mind, that they just started it, but it's up to everyone else to keep it going. They didn't want any, like, shrines or monuments to them. Even though Amunet did get one. But that was way after her time. But yeah, Bayek, I would have loved it if he got the Ezio treatment. They could have easily had like two more games with him. Him and Aya. They, they could have had way more games. Shooting someone with an arrow before a duel is dishonorable and you have to commit seppuku. Well, if you're a samurai, I am no longer a samurai. I am ghost. So what I did would have killed him. That's it. I like when he charges at me. That one's easy to dodge. Come 
There we go. That's the move that gets me every time. Every time that move shreds me. He annihilated me with that move completely. I as a hypocrite tells Bayek they should disappear in history, then spreads her legend as Amunet. I, well, I mean, think about it though. She did disappear as Aya. Amunet's a different person in her mind. So it's it's the whole Anakin and Darth Vader thing, I guess. <laughs> Where he's not Anakin anymore. He's now Darth Vader. But screw Bayek. He didn't get an alternate identity, right? Oh, I didn't realize my health was that low. I've killed a thousand men. Every death was sweet. The musician was right. No, no, I'm not. Screw that. Death battle. Son of a bitch. Wow! See the same one again. I had him. I had him on the ropes. About to whip out a freaking a sticky bomb and just light his face up with it. That's what I'm about to do. Keep coming at me. Penis wrinkle. I've killed a thousand men. Every death was sweet. Was right. I wish one of your moves you could bitch slap them, like in the middle of a combo. Like as a perfect sign of disrespect. You're done, just give up. Finally killed me. Is that what you want? He was about to start his little rampage. So much, Kojiro is now a zero. <laughs> I was trying to make an Arnold Schwarzenegger joke, but it's only good when Arnold Schwarzenegger makes makes the the cheesy one-liners. Plane zero. At least I got a point out of it. The legend is destroyed. Can say armor belong to Straw Hat. Let's see what it looks like. Is it just what he was wearing? That's all right. I don't like all the straw. Changing back. Is it fear? Fear. I must continue the legend of the ghost. There's also a charm that makes perfect blocks easier, lets you shred them up easier. Oh, do I have that equipped? I have that one. I don't think I've equipped that the entire game. Hold on, let me see what I can get rid of, because that, that might be actually really good. Killing enemies restores moderate amount of health. I like that. Increase health and melee damage by moderate amount. Moderate increase the health. See, I wish I had just one more spot open, because I like the ones I have.
Maybe, you know what? I'll get rid of the, the kunai don't really do a whole lot for me. I don't use them all that often. Oh, you're right. Yeah, perfect parries and perfect dodge are easier to perform. I wonder if they really are easier. Shoot Vibes, thanks for the five bucks, man. Coming to the super chat as always. What's a game you can play over and over and still get excited when you start it? For, oh, uh, Mega Man X, the original on Super Nintendo. Uh, actually, that goes for Mega Man X 1, 2, I'd say 1, 2, and 3. I, I Most Zelda games, too, like most of those classic games. Uh, any Metroid game. There's a couple games. Like, I, I can talk about a couple of them. But, yeah, any classic game. Um, a modern one is Mass Effect. Like, I was unhealthily obsessed with Mass Effect. Not one so much. I beat one and I loved it. But two and three, I, I beat each one of those like four or five times. Like, I was obsessed with them. Good question, though. There's some really good uh, classic games. I saw the Avengers bait. I was laughing like a four-year-old the whole time. It's so good. Yeah, I, I wanted to play it, but I was like, no, no I, I want to wait. I want to wait for the, the bait. I want to I stream that blind. Um, oh, why can't I do this yet? Find the. Oh, I haven't found that musician yet. Well, in the meantime, we'll clear out some tales. Find Ishikawa inside the farmhouse. We'll keep doing his because I, I want to. I want to see how this ends with this student. The terror of Otsuna. You also have the charm that recovers health out of combat. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about the health. More of the resolve. Because with the health, I can just dip my man butt in the uh, in the hot springs and call it a day. Damn, I, does that charm with the perfect parry, like, does that make a huge difference? I never equipped it through the whole game, so I'm wondering if it's going to be noticeable. Won't spoil it, but I'll say you're really going to enjoy Avengers. It's funny, because I have a buddy that absolutely hated it, because, um... You have to make... I guess you have to make an account or something, like a Square account, before logging in. And he couldn't do it. It just kept kicking him out. So now he says the Avengers game sucks. I was like, I mean, you can't really judge the game based off of that. Because at that point, you're not even judging the game itself. Just the procedure to, to get into it, I guess. Hawkeye's not there at the beginning, though, right? If I'm not mistaken, I think he's going to be added on later from whatever it online. Although, as long as I have Iron Man, I think I'll, I'll be good. I want Iron Man. I'm a huge Iron Man fan, but if Hawkeye's in there, I'm, I'm playing Hawkeye. It has way too much motion blur. What, Avengers does? I'm sure you could turn it off. In the full, because it's a beta, and the full full games usually have an option to turn off motion blur. I always turn off motion blur in games when I can. That's right, Sensei. Sakai. Sensei Ishikawa. Is all this Tomoe's work? She and her Mongols have been busy. A woman here named Ban knows where to find her. Lead the way. Damn, th this student of his is a little bitch, man. <laughs> Causing so much trouble all over the island. Like, she had nothing better to do? How does she know where Tomoe's camp is? I think it might be fun to do some Avengers community streams, like if we could all play it online together. Might be fun. Everyone with her was killed. Yeah, one of my buddies too is like, he thinks you fight too many robots in it. I was like, I mean, in most Marvel games, there's like armies of robots that you fight. They were led by one of our own. Tomoe, I'll never forget that face. She used to ride with a group of thieves who lived here. That's not possible. Tomoe is from. Tomoe is my least favorite character in the game. She found her way here. She's still even met her. Her bow terrorized Utsuna for years. People used to say. She could knock a falcon from the sky, blindfolded. This camp you found, where is it? 
the forest southwest of here. The, between the river and the western shore. Remember Deadpool stole the Iron Man armor and caused a nuclear reactor to spill to a water table? And Tony got blamed? No, I don't remember. Was that one of the more modern comics? I haven't read most of the modern ones in forever. You old fool. Why does she lie to me? Tomoe never told you any of that. Before we fought, I offered to adopt Tomoe as my daughter. Make her samurai. For someone like her, that's quite a change in fortune. And I took it away. Because she's a hired killer. Because her sensei... You made her, it's disappointing. She fell back into the life she knew. It's one thing to wreck your chance at a better life. She fell to the dark to side. Your own people. I am aware, Sakai. Are you? Can I count on you to do what needs to be done? We have a camp to find. What about story co-op? Are you playing to open that when you stream Avengers or going solo? I don't know. It depends on how the co-op works. Um, is it is the co-op like within the campaign or because I thought it was like a separate mode, but I haven't really looked into it too much. Or is it just like the main story that's co-op? Because the main story is fully co-op. I, I might just have people jump in. The good news is Tomoe fell back to a place she knows. Because she's desperate. She has the Mongol Empire on her side. The more we damage her efforts, the more likely the Khan withdraws his support. We could use that to our advantage. Drive a wedge between them. What if we did? And Tomoe abandoned the Mongol cause. Oh, we could use Tomoe's skill. After everything she's done, she's got to be punished. Deserves punishment. Even if she were willing to fight for us. Oh man, that's so tough. No. Yeah, she would backstab us. The woman we spoke to said Tomoe terrorized people here. It must have been years ago. Tomoe would have been young. In her teens. And holding her own among bandits. Difficult for someone twice her age. And you never suspected anything. When she began her study with me, I don't trust Ishikawa Sensei. I trust him. I don't think he's telling me the full story, though. I can see how you could overlook those signs. I don't think he's a bad guy or anything. I wanted to make her my heir so badly. I blinded myself to the truth. The camp should be nearby. Perfect terrain for archers lying in wait. Your eyes open. Dismount here. I'm 90% certain Tomoe is a sociopath. I mean, especially, like, terrorizing all these innocent people. Yeah, you, you can't trust a character like that. You gotta, you gotta get rid of her. You gotta kill her. Wow. Open for Tomoe. Ready when you are, Sensei. I'll hmm. stay heated until you strike. No stealth. <gasps> Only destruction. <laughs> Your camp is closed. There you go. You're going on lockdown, bitch. Come here. She was seen here recently. Damn, that felt good. It's highlighted. It's probably a clue up here. Search the camps for signs of Tomoe. Sensei, over here. Could be Tomoe. The Sensei and the Ghost. I'm getting tired of you two. Oh, there the she is. Dead. It's over. Ambush. Oh, damn. No, let me fight. I can take them. Damn it. 
See, man, she's causing way too much trouble for me. She better not pull like a I'm sorry, let me join you on your quest. She's done too much. If it was my original horse, I would have caught up already. This horse sucks. It's a trap. She slapped that arrow away. And you're a gifted archer who had a chance at a better life. And you threw it away. Is that what he told you? Tomoe, why are we talking? So I can warn you to watch your back. Wait a minute. My Am I being... Tried to kill me. He'll try the same with you. Is it a Luke Skywalker, Kylo Ren situation? End this. It's already over. I have nothing. No one. Put the bow down, Tomoe. Interesting. Lost her mind? No sign of her. I should tell Sensei. She Man, th this is an interesting uh, side story. Now I feel like I'm being lied to. Why is everyone lying to me? First, I got lied to about the rice. That was traumatic. I don't know. Someone's lying. One of them. But it, it doesn't matter. If she still did all those horrible things, she still did them. That's all that matters. The rice? Yeah, earlier in the game. Some lady wanted me to go uh, find some bandits that stole her rice and I killed them all. And it turns out she was just hungry and wanted to take their rice. So I murdered a bunch of innocent bandits for nothing. What happened? It was cold. Tomoe could have killed me, but she didn't. You let her get away. She jumped off a cliff. I saw her. You saw what she wanted you to. She sounded desperate. She is, because of us. Why does she think you'll turn on me? She doesn't. She's trying to drive a wedge between us. And it's working. No, it's not. Hmm. I, I believe him. I kind of believe him. But the next time you wonder if I can do what's needed, ask yourself first. Damn, this guy's always, like, firing back at me with words. We stopped from away in Toyotama, but her archers still threaten Yoshi Springs. Find me there. It's like the saying goes, trust no one but yourself until the whole truth is told. Yep. Well, whatever the truth is, we're going to find out now. Because he's only got one more mission, I think. Or maybe one more after this. Let's see. Where is he? Here we go. Uh, Ishikawa Tale 2 of 9? Did I skip around in them? Or are they not numbered in order? Meet Ishikawa at his dojo in Hiyoshi. I thought I was on 7 of 9. Now it says 2 of 9? I, I don't know. Yeah, I guess they're not... I guess you don't have to do them in order. I don't I don't know. According to you, there are no innocents. You slaughter everything. No, I, I've rescued many hostages. Thank you very much. You guys have seen me rescue hostages. If they, if they challenge me, then they die. All right? Sakai! Sensei. Any word on Tomoe? Yes. 
But I'm not sure you are ready for her. You make her sound like a demon. That's not far off the mark. Tomoe is fearless. She is not samurai. But she is a born killer. Natural born killer. I know the type. No, you do not. Damn, I want to do some of the other tales, but I'm hooked to this story now. Like, the, the, this is why the side quests here are so good. They just rope you in with, like, an ongoing story. Where you just kind of forget everything else. And you just want to, you just want to like, go through it. But you never told me exactly what happened. She used my teaching to help a band of assassins. Oh, assassins. It still doesn't explain why she attacked you. Sakai. That's How does a samurai deal with an assassin? You retaliated and attacked her. I dealt with Tomoe as I would any common murderer. She was your student. I don't make exceptions, Sakai. The shoes are dirty. Tomoe's probably friends with the Dark Forces turrets. Yeah, I hated those turrets. Horrible. Horrible teens. Can't wait to stream Dark Forces again. Such a fun game. As outdated as it is, it's fun. Next stream we'll be starting on mission six. Turrets always have to be the worst enemies. Well, they're worse than dark forces because they just like they destroy your health within a second. Unlike anything else in that game. And then sometimes you're not even sure where they are till they light you up. You need a hand, Sensei? Not bad. How did he get over here that quickly? That's a lie. You said the only yeah, the turrets are on the list. Climb. No. I said you had to climb. It's good exercise. <laughs> Arrows, Mongol, and Japanese. If they were here, they're long gone. We might pick up their trail by the practice target. There is no target. Or is there? That watchtower. Not bad, Sensei. Find out where they went. It's got some good ass aim. Move it, Sakai. <laughs> this is such a fun game, Phoebe. It says now, however, Wednesday, you'll say this is bullshit. See, but I gotta form my opinion after. I can't let the initial rage color my opinion. I gotta analyze it afterwards, and I've determined it's a fun game. A severed head, used for target practice. I just gotta accept that anything that has to do with her is just gonna result in a trap where people shoot arrows at me. Apparently. Okay, you know what, here. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'll run with you. Here, let's run together. <laughs> are you scared? Hold on. What, how, how do you want to die? Let's see. What do I have? Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that! A hot spring right there. He's dead. That was hilarious. He was just jogging alongside me, not knowing what direction to go. I should have just started zigzagging in front of him. Yeah, he's a coward. <laughs> he's a savage. I was simply dispensing justice. That's all. Good work, Sakai. <laughs> he's running like Usain Bolt. He should have started zigzagging. Observing your response to an ambush. You knew those Mongols were still here. Yes. You didn't think to mention it? If you can't handle a few Mongols, what good will you be against Tomoe? This is war, not a test. And how many wars have you fought? Pick the wrong damn time to test me, man. I'll test you as I see fit. 
I can see why Tomoe attacked you. <laughs> Damn. Now, where did she go, Sakai? I'll look around. A lot of tracks. A dozen men. Maybe more. Follow the trail. How is he going to do me like that? Because, like, he's using this as a training exercise. What if you get, like, one lucky bongle that just happens to, like, hit me with an arrow in the waist and then I'm infected and I, I slowly die from, like, poisoning? All because he wanted to do a stupid test. Use your bow this time? If we find her. And if not? Can you take a dozen enemy soldiers without me? If I must. Good answer. Imagine if you followed him to a whole squad of Mongols, like when Han Solo followed the Stormtrooper in New Hope. I would have slain them with my ghost dance. Dude, you start dying from dragon rot. Exactly. We'll need to call Wolf over. Can you go? Okay, I'm going to start running. people over there oh return to the mongols trail oh look at them they're practicing what Tomoe taught them murdering the innocent On. Oh, he got shot in the knees. Damn. All right, well, I do have this. Oh, someone's left? Oh, here we go. You scared? You scared? Huh? Huh? <laughs> and his arm went. Bring more lightning. I love the storm. Doesn't Marcos from Odyssey remind you of Honda? Honda. Oh, I, t I keep... Yeah, Hondo, yes. I keep thinking E Honda whenever you say Hondo. Yeah, he does. He, he's a con artist. I couldn't believe it. She was giving them orders. What did she say? Something about the sensei. And the hot springs. That's all I heard, my lord. Forgive me. Hot springs. Taught a monster how to hunt. They heard Tomoe giving orders to the Mongols. She mentioned Hiyoshi Springs. She's just getting started. Sakai, the way you fight, it's not your uncle's way, and it's not mine. You've never faced an enemy like this. I do what I must to defeat them. Such a good story. A guardian. Not a killer who darts around like a thief. You didn't see Komodo. Why are all these people enough. criticizing me, man? I'm saving you. I know it was brutal. Let me fight how I want. Train another monster. I know. I won't let that happen. Better watch your back, man. If Tomoe is going after Yoshi Springs, I need to prepare. So do you. I'll see you at my dojo, Sakai. I would have laughed so hard if the ghost dance ran out while you were taunting that Mongolian. <laughs> then he'd turn around and kill you. I would have been so pissed off. That would have been awful. What's a Tsushima or whatever? Tsushima is the name of the island. Off the coast of Japan. That's where this is. So I'm the ghost of the island. Ghost of Tsushima. Um, do I, oh, I have a point. I didn't even... You know what? Let's just go ahead and clear this out right here.
another Ishikawa tale. Sensei Ishikawa's traders, former students, Moe's training Mongol archers. All right, let's do the next one. After this one, maybe I'll do some of these small ones. Just clear out the list a bit. But I'm hooked to this story. This one's good. I want to see how it plays out. That would have been if Fabian finds out there's a second Guardian 8 mode. No, not that scene. I'm trying to think, but I, I don't think there is a... On my streams, out of all the streams I've ever done, I don't think there's been a more terrifying moment than when I saw that second 8 pop. Like, legitimately, at that point in time, in my head, I thought, like, I don't know if I'm going to beat this game. Like, I legitimately thought that at one point, like, oh my god, there's a second ape. I don't know about this game. But l luckily, luckily, it, it was defeated. But yeah, there, there hasn't been anything much more terrifying than that, I don't think. Jedi sort of based on samurai? Very much so. George Lucas used a lot of the old samurai movies as inspiration. He's, he's said that on multiple occasions. He used a lot of different uh, religious stories, samurai, mixed with fairy tales, like all bundled in with a sci-fi skin. Say what you will about George Lucas, but he's a great storyteller. He really is. I mean, he came up with the Star Wars universe. I mean, you, you could criticize his directing capabilities, but um, yeah, the guy's a good storyteller. He's one of the best storytellers of our, of our time. I would love to be George Lucas. Maybe it's still fully forgiven Donkey Kong for Guardian Ape. Oh, Donkey Kong. That reminds me, I gotta stream the next Donkey Kong game on our list. Donkey Kong Country 2. I mean, I, I don't know if I'll go chronologically with them, but... That's my favorite out of the classic three. Oh, man, I got bad hiccups. I th that's my favorite out of the classic three is uh, Diddy's Conquest. Sorry, I'm at Taco Bell working on break. Oh, you were at Taco Bell? Yo, send me some soft tacos. Okay. Send me some coupons. <laughs> I love Taco Bell. <clears throat> Any news of Tomoe? Travelers have been shot dead on the roads in and out of Hiyoshi Springs. People are afraid to leave or deliver supplies. You think that's our doing? George Lucas, great director, terrible writer. I I think the other way around. I think he's a good writer, a terrible director. A tactic of yours when you were Clan Nagao's archery master. I don't say terrible, but he, he's student. He needs other people to take over the role of director. Your own That's why Empire Strikes Back was so good. He wrote the story, but he didn't direct the movie. To our advantage. Diddy's Conquest might be my favorite of the DK games. I absolutely love that game. Like, it took everything that Donkey Kong Country 2 did and just made it bigger. How do you propose we find these archers? We think like Tomoe. And they added like a whole secret world and everything if you collect all DK coins. They, there was so much good stuff about that game. We want to control movement in and out of Yoshi Springs. Where do we put archers? I thought he wrote and directed the prequels and just directed the original trilogy. No, he didn't direct the original. He directed A New Hope. Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi had different director. It wasn't George Lucas that actually directed them. A handful of men could shut down the road to the coast. Yes. That path behind the, the prequels he wrote and directed. Yeah, that is true. But yeah, the original trilogy, the only one he directed was A New Hope. With the fewest archers. I would want someone looking over the bridge into town. So would I. 
Lady Butterfly and Guardian Ape is your forever trump. No, I wouldn't go so far as saying Lady Butterfly. Guardian Ape. I, 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 the main entrance into town. Much more surpassed her. People already avoid the main road. She didn't get her head cut off and then wiggle around alive still. The road south runs along a high ridge. The guy who directed Empire directed yep, directed Robocop too, that is right. Who who directed Return of the Jedi? I forgot his name. I don't remember who directed it. Demon of Hatred. Demon of Hatred was pretty bad. What did you teach Tomoe? I held back nothing. Including why you left Clan Nago? Demon of Hatred is either the easiest boss in the game or the hardest. Depending on if you cheese him or not. It's not my fault they programmed that in the game. Putting it down felt like death. So I chose to live. But do you regret giving up a warrior's life? Mastery of the bow is mastery of oneself. That is the only victory. I like that. Mastery of the bow is mastery of oneself. That's cool. Richard Marquand? Doesn't sound familiar. Yeah, I knew I forgot his name. Also, I love how Sekiro made me think I'd beaten the Guardian Ape twice. Yeah. Guardian Ape was an absolute nightmare. Terrifying. How was the final boss of Sekiro? Um, very difficult, but very predictable. Once, once I got off stream and once I got off stream and and, and kind of fought him on my own the next, I, I beat him on my first try the next morning, which was ridiculous. But once I got off stream and didn't have the distraction of like you know trying to focus on chat and stuff, which. I mean, I'm not, I'm not blaming anyone, but it's just, it, it is an added distraction, fight so it makes it a little little harder to fight bosses like that that require, like, 100% attention. And he absolutely does, because he hits you a couple times, and, like, you're you're done. <laughs> like, that's it. Um, he's not that bad. Compare the Demon of Hatred, I, I think the Demon of Hatred's worse. Uh, the final boss, whenever you learn his pattern and just kind of run around, he's not hard. You just have to be careful not to mess up and accidentally... I'll leave it at this. The hardest part of that final boss battle in Sekiro was the camera. The camera is the real final boss. Because as you're running around, it's very easy to accidentally fall off the cliff that's around you or run into a rock. Run into like one of like three or four rocks that are scattered around. And then the enemy hits you because you got stuck on the rock. That was the hardest thing about that fight. I like how Ishin teaches you how to fight him, yeah. He was a cool villain. He was just a pain in the ass. But yeah, Demon Hatred, if you actually fight the Demon of Hatred, um, legitimately, he, he's worse than the final boss because... I think it's the fact that he's very tedious. I think that's what it is. And he just kind of wears you down. That, that's what I said on stream. Like, I just felt like... I had him through phase one and two, and by the third one, you're just so worn down from how long it was taken that you're just like... You start making mistakes. I understand how they think. But people who sow chaos must be punished. Your way sows chaos. In the enemy. Not just them. Samurai must use violence with their strength. Without it, you unleash endless bloodshed. The point is to I'm tired of all these people criticizing my, my tactics. Told me the same thing. You know what? Maybe me and Tomoe have more, more, more in common. Sensei. I'm about to teach you. Justice for Genichiro. I think the hardest from Soft Boss is Orphan of Cost from Bloodborne. Is he the big crow that I keep hearing about? I've heard the name. People keep saying that's the hardest boss. I heard people telling me about a crow.
Hang on, hang on. We are dangerously close to this edge. He's got me walking all over the place. Can I cross? Okay, thank God there's a bridge here. Lord. You didn't turn her away. She sank arrow after arrow into my target. I had never seen talent like hers. She must have had training. Her form was wrong. It would have been useless in a real fight. It's like a super archer. He had no fear of missing a shot. She never hesitated. A warrior's spirit. No. A killer's. I didn't Damn. She's exactly Kylo Ren. Am I even going the right way? It's telling me to go up there. Same our Jack game coming out this month. Yeah, I want to play it. Bloodborne, there's an enemy that has no official name, but the fans call him the Bloody Crow Coinhurst. He's kind of tough. It doesn't have an official name? What do you mean? Like, when you fight him, there's no, like, character name there? Isn't he the one that's broken, though? Like, I've had people tell me that there's there's a boss that's completely broken. And they never fixed it. I thought I thought it was the crow. But I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know crap about, um... Bloodborne. We'll save standoff. We'll shoot arrows. Any more? No? Who stream Samurai Jack when it comes out? I don't know if I'm going to get it day one, just because there's so many other games I want to play, but eventually I'm going to get it. Um, I don't know. I'll see. We'll see how next week goes with the streams, like how far I get. Because there's a lot of... Um, I want to finish some of these, these games I have running right now, like this, Assassin's Creed and Dark Forces. To kind of prepare for uh, end of September, beginning of October. Oh look, I killed him so hard that his body fused into the rocks. He melted into the rock. Oh. New designs for Battletoads looks kind of meh. I can tell you in motion, the game looks fantastic. It does look really good. Um, like I said, I played E3 and it, it it's good. Um, one design that I think is awful, though, that they ruined was the Dark Queen. Like, she looks terrible. Um, almost not even recognizable as as the Dark Queen. You know the name is Koa? I do. I have message. Speak. Sensei. All of Hiyoshi Springs will beg for mercy, like the victims of Hironori now. Silence! Oh! <laughs> Damn. Well done. Hironori Nagao. Didn't he die fighting bandits? It was decades ago. He was reputed to be a great archer. Did he study with you? No. Tomoe is spreading lies. But there's a seed of truth. She wants us to doubt each other. Mm. We are all that stands between Hiyoshi Springs and a bloodbath. If we stand together. Hmm. We'll plan the town's defense of my dojo. You'll probably you review Samurai Jack at least. I would like to, but realistically, I just I'm not gonna have time to work on a review for that. I've got I'm way too deep with all the Halloween content I'm working on. I just finished another video and posted today, actually. Which that one's gonna go public around halfway through October, so. Um, shockingly, it was one that I was convinced would get copyright claimed, and it did not get copyright claimed, so, I don't know. He's not called Crow. He's the Coinhurst Hunter, a vile blood that is tasked to haunt, haunt the church's hunters.
See, look, now it's tail four of nine. I guess I've been doing them out of order. I, mean, I guess it doesn't matter. It's still kind of... Story still meshes together. People have been telling strange stories of creatures attacking fishermen. Let's see what's going on with these, these, these creatures. Travel to a fishing hut to look into rumors. Probably little kids. In costumes or something. It's right by here. I'll do two or three of these small ones and then we'll go back to his. You should use a Goosebumps theme or Spooky Scary Skeletons. That's not scary. I already got that set up. It's, it's, I got a couple different ones going. It's pretty cool. Is it a Koopa? It's a Koopa. Like the turtles from Mario. It's just a regular ass Koopa. Travel to a fishing hut to look into rumors. Alright, so what's going on? My lord. He came at night. Did you see it? Calm down. What's your name? Shino, my lord. Shino. Tell me what you saw. A river child. Kappa. Oh, yeah, that's what you guys said. You sure? It's just like the stories my father told. Oh, that me. sounds scary. A river child? I don't know why that's scary. Chromox in the soil. You're lucky to be alive. I hid. Well, my father went to go scare the Kappa away. I just imagine the kid from like the grudge, like coming out of the water, meowing at you and drowning you. I will check on him, Shino. Stay here, away from the water. That's so scary. There's like little little footprints going into the water. This is interesting. Be careful, my lord. Freaking Japanese children of the corn. Well, let's see what it is for real. Knocked over. Something was in a hurry. Half eaten fish. Something was ravenous. Tracks could be human or animal. They lead into the river. It's the little fish from Mario. The little red and white ones. Investigate the riverbank. It's so creative for all these side quests. Let's continue. I'm going to find like a little homeless child. With sharp teeth. God, you barely see the footprints. Like, they they mesh almost too well. The ghost of Tsushima is not afraid of river children. I saw something splash. Shino's father. The cuts are savage but clean. Possibly from a blade. His killer may have left a trail. More tracks. He went this <laughs> yeah, the cheap cheeps. That's what they are. They're the cheap cheeps. They've learned to travel on land. This is kind of spook. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's creepy. Look, you... Is that an animal? There's something far away over there. Could be an animal. It's 
smell. Cooking fish. Oh, that was a bird. I thought there was like a freaking like a ghost or something over there. Or like a child dressed as a ghost. Is this game of the year material over Doom? I I don't know. It's I, mean, I still haven't decided. I'm going to wait until I beat this game to really decide. But it, it's it's very close. Is it a frog? It's very close. I, I, I'm not sure. As of now, I haven't made a decision. Um, I'll say this. Well, hold on. It's not the end of the year. There's more games coming, though. May maybe it'll be Valhalla. Maybe it'll be Avengers. Maybe it'll be Battletoads. Like, there's still a lot more games coming, you know? As of right now, it's probably... It, it's definitely either this or Doom. It's one of those. But the year's not over yet, so we'll see. You never know what surprises are in store. Fuck. It wasn't Kappa. It's always just thieves and murderers. What the hell did she see then? That's it, it was just three guys over here living together? I'll wait for These bandits are causing so much chaos. They're always up to something. Simple handcrafted flute stolen by the bandits. I will return it to her. That's a pretty cool mission. I was hoping to see like little homeless ravenous children now. Like coming out of the water and like trying to scratch me. God, this environment looks amazing. Everything about this game does. We were kidding. Got your flute back. Pay me money. Or with rice. My father... Sorry, Shino. The Kappa killed him. Not Kappa. Thieves. No. Only a demon could do such a thing. Desperation can bring out the demon in the best of men. Is there somewhere you can go? My aunt is from there. I have not seen one example of bad acting in this game yet. Yes. The acting in this game has been solid just across the board. He'll travel to Akashima with me. Thank you. I'll head for town soon. Next mission. Oh, I didn't realize I had technique point. I keep getting so many. I'm not even. I'm not even looking at the charms anymore. I keep getting so many of them. It's hard to keep track of. All right. Um. Well, do that. It's been too long since I visited Master Izo. Now I hear statues are being destroyed by the Mongols. I won't let them destroy even one more. And yeah, we'll go stop some some statue destruction. Damn it. I can't... Oh, here's fast travel point. 
the reason you haven't found bad acting yet in this game is because there isn't any. Yeah, it seems that way, man. Like, it, all the acting has been solid. I love it. Can I make it? Oh, I, I, I did the jump roll. I don't feel that was high enough to kill me. But apparently it was. Okay, can I jump down here? I can make that. That was cool. The thunder struck as soon as I did that. I landed like, like the thunder god. Damn it. I'm taking my horse. Thunderstruck. I believe that this game is more amazing with Japanese acting. Yeah, if I did a second playthrough, I'd do it with Japanese voice acting. But I, I always prefer in English so I can actually understand what they're saying. Stay back! Oh, forgive me. I thought you were one of them. That statue was one of Master Izo's. It wasn't enough for the Mongols to kill my father. They had to desecrate his legacy. Your Master Izo's son. I'm sorry to hear he's gone. We won't see his like again. This statue was his best. I could restore it if I had his tools. But his killers have taken our home too. I'll get to this is the opposite mission of one from um father's memory by restoring his work. Thank you, my lord. What was it? In Assassin's Creed Odyssey Atlantis. There's a bunch of missions you have to do where you have to actually destroy some statues. I will. Talking about Thunder God, do you think Thor is gonna pop up in Dad of War 5? Yeah. Well, because he showed up at the very end, uh, in the secret ending, if you go back to Kratos' house. He shows up, so I imagine the game will pick up from there. Or at least acknowledge that scene. <clears throat> Locate his home. Couldn't he just tell me where his house was? Like, hey, I live in that hut right over there. Come bring my tools, please. Is it here? It's probably here. I see two I see two little squares there. I bet it's there. Speaking of Thunder God, I'm excited for Thor 4, even if we're getting Jane Foster Thor. They already said she's not replacing him though. Like, she's going to be part of it, but he's still going to very much be there. Come here and fight. I would have more of a problem if they were just completely replacing him, and that's not what they're doing. So it's just going to be a plot point for the movie. That I'm fine with. Even though I don't really care about the Jane Foster Thor story in the comics. It's got its fans, though. You dare challenge the ghost? Come here. Oh, what is this guy screaming at me? Oh! His weapon came flying at me while it was glowing. Is this your house? House might be the other one. Someone's using the master's tools. 
Master Izo is alive. Who are you? What the hell? What do you want? Why are you here? Master Izo, I'm glad you're alive. Your son thinks the Mongols killed you. <sighs> Poor boy. One hit kill mode, absolutely. The reason I'm alive is because a Mongol general admires my work. The Mongols are mutilating your sculptures, destroying your legacy. He wants me to create a masterpiece for Kublai Khan himself. I can't refuse. Gather your tools. We're leaving. Oh, hell no. Destroy the statue. Now. Which of my statues is damaged? The Bosatsu down the road. I created that to honor my son's birth. It's not my finest work. He disagrees. Mamoru is a good son. His eye for art has always been like. So he said it's not his finest work. Uh... How could you think that creating a statue for Kublai Khan is more important than your family? Or your own people? Family he was like, that statue sucks. I don't know why my son's upset about it. The tender curl of Kanon's fingers. The fierce stance of a stone warrior in mid-strike. They are eternal. You can have both your family and your art. A samurai cannot serve two lords. It's the same for an artist. That's a sad way to look at the world. The world is a sad place. I love my son. But I serve my... I feel like this guy's a little off his rocker. Statue look like MK Mythology Shinnok. I love Mythology Shinnok. He looks like a he looks like a Power Rangers villain. Speaking of the words, do you know Odin could take form of an old sage in Norse mythology, which is the inspiration for Gandalf? Odin, uh, that's common with some of the ancient mythology gods, like Zeus. He could take the form of an eagle and then have sex with human women. A bunch of them, and have multiple children behind his wife's back. Wonder if Zeus pays child support. His son thinks he's dead, and all he cares about is his dumbass statues. Let's go. Hide. Don't make a sound. My son. Quiet. See if I can do a multiple assassination. Oh damn, there's there's quite a bit of them. You know what? Hang on. This is what we'll do. Now we poison. There, he's poisoned. Um Yeah, we'll, we'll do Ghost. Did they kill him? Oh, hell no. <gasps> oh, boy. What? Oh, man, these Mongols are dicks. Destroy that Kublai Khan statue. Would it be possible for Odin to appear in Valhalla as a sage? I don't know. Because Odin's definitely in it. Um, I mean, you can assume he's an Isu, but... I don't know. <laughs> Could be a sage. Posing as him, you know? Damn, I can't believe they killed his son. It's kind of his dad's fault, though. Go back to the way of the bow. I did what I could for that family. Feeling gas like a parent who are their kid cuz. Yeah, it's funny, my my daughter, you know, she's just turned four and she she's in that stage where now she repeats things we say. Uh quite a bit. 
So, she got in trouble the other day. I, I mean, it, it was definitely me talking. Because <laughs> I thought I was like, oops. But she was playing with her, like, Lego toys. And one Lego toy, as she was playing with them, she had one of them yell at the other one. Same, I'm gonna kick their, I'm gonna kick your ass, and I was like, "What? Don't talk like that." And uh, then I also caught her saying, oh, "What was it? I don't remember what we were watching. We were watching something." And then she said, "Oh shit!" <laughs> and I was like, "Don't talk like that." So now, now it's gone through her head that she can't talk like that. But she's got something new now. Now she scolds her parents. She scolds me and her mother for cursing. So, like, if I say, like, oh, shit, she'll scold me and be like, Daddy, don't talk like that. I'm like, what the hell? You're four years old. Don't tell me how to talk. She also scolds movie characters. Like, I was watching Child's Play 2 the other day. Chucky said a curse word, and she complained to me that Chucky shouldn't be talking like that. And I was like, all right, you're right, you're right. But, yeah, when she cursed, I was like, oops. <laughs> Maybe that was me? Nah, the kid's curse. But yeah, now now she's scolding me. I'm like, you don't scold me. You're four years old. Get out of here. But then I'm, I have to tell her she's right, though. What can you do? Kids hear shit. She's right, Chuck. You shouldn't be talking like that. Yeah, it... And that, that scene, especially in the first movie, where, where he comes alive for the first time to the mom, and he just, like, goes off on, a, like, a curse storm to her. Oh, my God, that scene is hilarious. Right. She's replacing you as man of the house. She, she, she's she got a little attitude. My son's the calm one. He, he was the... My son grew up. He, he was the really good kid. I think it's part of, like... I think I mentioned this before, but he he's high functioning autism. So I, I think that played a lot of it, where he was he was a bit calmer about things. Um, I never had trouble with him. She's a little I love her, but she's a little terror. <laughs> she's a little monster. But the terrain works in our favor. Two skilled archers can hold off hundreds. Or we allow the Mongols to take it. Like when we first got Broly, you know, he's a pit bull, and my family. Like I said, our family was all worried. They're like, oh, it's a pit bull. They're dangerous. I'm more worried about him. Like, he'll take one of her toys, and she'll, like, run at him and just smack him. And I'll be like, don't hit him. She runs shit, though. I appreciate that. That means when she's older and starts getting boyfriends, like, I won't have to be as careful about whooping their ass. But I still will. One arrow, one death. I feel like the objective of every mission always boils down to defeat the Mongols. Like, what else do you do in this game other than defeat Mongols, you know? So she went through terrible two. No, she didn't. My daughter didn't go through terrible twos. She went through terrible threes. Like when she turned three, that that's when it all started. <laughs> she's still going through it. Like I said, I love her, but she's she's a terror. Like she, it, it's all hands on deck. Like she needs constant attention throughout the day. Like today, oh my god. Today, I I, I was actually gonna like my fiance's working. I told my daughter like. I'm going to go to the room and record some audio for like five minutes. Like, I was going to do something real quick. She's like, okay. Then I go in the room. I, I got a window right over here in the corner where I could see the front of my house outside. And then I look at the window and I see her running outside and both my dogs running with her. So I get up and I run out there. I'm like, what are you doing? She just decided. She just decided to open the front door and run outside by herself. And then, of course, both dogs ran after her. I had to get her in the house and run after both dogs because the big one still doesn't know not to run away. <laughs> that, that's what I mean. I promise, Sensei. She knows you're my student. Your death will destroy my legacy. Your way of the bow will survive with me. 
Where will Tomoe strike? In the back town, near the waterfalls, the most vulnerable point. If we get there before the Mongols, we can prepare a defense, but it won't be easy. It never is. So your son just chills and doesn't care about anything that happens. That's a good way to put it, yeah. That's the challenge, though, about, like, in all honesty, like, raising a kid. Like, if, if you talk to him, you can't really tell he's autistic because it's high-functioning. Um, but it, it's the kind of thing where, like, when stuff is going on around him and he's, like, playing a video game or something, like, he'll be, like, 100% zoned in on that. And it's, like, you have to, like, remind him to, to focus on his surroundings. I had to chase five chicken outside my neighbor's house. The back door was open. I was the only running barefoot. You had to chase five chicken. I just thought of Zelda when you had to put the cuckoos back in the pen for the woman in Kakariko Village. I wouldn't even bother chasing. If I had to chase five chicken, I'd be like, I've seen Rocky. I'm you good. Too. Come here. <laughs> too hard. What is it, my lords? Mongols are heading for here. She's awakening to her adolescence. Gather everyone at the inn and stay out of sight. We will deal with them. Yes, my lords. Then yesterday too. Yesterday, here's another story. I tell her like she waits till I'm not there, and then she just goes crazy on things. Like I told her, like obviously people go number two. So I told her I was like, stay right here. I gotta go take a dump. <laughs> I go take a dump, and I come like five minutes later. I come back. And she's like, Daddy, look. And I'm like, oh Nothing my god, much. this girl took her Crayola markers, colored her legs completely. So her legs are like black, red, blue. And then I look at the dog. He's laying down sleeping, and his sides and his thigh are all colored blue. She colored all over him. And he just sat there and let it happen, so I had to give him a bath and wash it all out. We'll make sure you have flaming arrows. Yeah, you know, movies, they make it seem like having children is like... This magical experience, I promise you. <laughs> like, it, it's... They can't be a nightmare. That's reality, though. You love them, but they drive you nuts. Tell me not to burn myself. I know what I'm doing. Then don't get in my way, Sensei. Get ready. Mongols will be here soon. I feel like I already did this in a different mission. You're getting closer. Good. The Let's hell are they? The way of the bow for them. I don't see Mongol. They're coming downhill. Uh, Take them. One arrow, one death, says they. One arrow, one death. Not bad, Sakai. I'm ready for more. Oh, that guy got fire. He got fire in the nuts. I've got them. Do I need to kill them with an arrow? Because I have my ghost. Uh, screw this. To battle. He can back me up with a bow and arrow. Go! Uh! Oh, you want to get it? You wanted it. Here I am. Come get me. More? Excellent. Oh shit, I gotta go back. I'm straying too far with bloodlust. He wanted to teach me the way of the bow. The way of the bow it is then. Yeah, let's do this. Last 
According to my parents, the only bad thing I did was sleep literally half the day and stay up all night while they were exhausted. Yeah, see, between me and being a fiance, apparently, um, she told me her childhood, she was pretty calm, and apparently I was a handful, so I, I, don't, I guess my daughter gets it from me. Now I'm paying for it. My kids turn ice cream into a chocolate-covered nightmare. I get it. Yes. I've had that situation plenty of times. If you shoot fires into the tall grass, it sets on fire and broods everyone inside. I like the explosive ones, though, because they blow up. Uh, there she is. That's Tomoe. Burning the Nago banner. We can catch her. She'll be long gone by the time we get there. Can't shoot her with an arrow from here? I'm pretty sure I can make that shot. She's a coward. No. She's mocking me. She knows the last student I trained before her was Hironori Nagao. You said he wasn't your student. Which is it? He's flip-flopping his stories. I was young, prideful, callous. Hironori learned from my example. He led a rebellion to seize the clan and lost. But only after butchering Lord Nagao's best men. Hironori didn't die fighting bandits. That was a story to protect Nagao's legacy. There was no saving mine. Better start telling the truth. As his teacher, I could never be trusted again. I was granted the mercy to resign my position. I convinced myself the way of the bow had to survive. But the truth is, I am a coward who should have ended it long ago. You told Doom Slayer, welcome. All of this. I wanted her to understand what it meant for me to teach again. And like everything else, she turned it against me. You'll never redeem Hironori Nago. And you won't change Tomoe. But today, you saved the people of Hiyoshi. Tomoe Spons. must die. With my new student. Where will Tomoe go now? North. We asked the Mongols for reinforcements. And we must follow her. She probably fast traveled up there already. What's the worst experience with your kids? I don't know. See, my kids haven't really done anything that bad, especially my son. But you don't. Know the wor Let me tell you, the worst things about kids in general are when when they're when they're when they're little little shits, literally, like when they're babies. Uh, when they're in that stage where they're constantly crapping, it's horrible. <laughs> like baby shit. Like it, it's it's unpredictable. Lord Sakai. Uh. I studied poetry with your uncle. The hell? What's this guy? Well, let's see what this guy says. Lord Shimura is focused on defeating the Mongol Khan and taking back our island. He is a great leader, skilled in the art of combat and poetry. Do you practice haiku, my lord? I've done many haiku. War is the reason to make time. Haiku allows one to concentrate, eliminate chaos. To find peace. Precisely. My favorite place to ride like Yeah, but I was saying, when, when babies, like, one of many such places, when they're in there, like, one to two years old, where they're just constantly shitting inspiration without control because they don't know they're not potty trained or anything. Places like this one, untouched by war. There, there's just one time, this is when we lived in an apartment, where my daughter, like, she wasn't a year old, and my fiancé was changing her. She was changing her diaper. And then, out of nowhere... This shit stream, I don't know how else to describe it, a stream of shit, <laughs> um, literally just rocketed out of her ass. And I, I don't know how, like, physics-wise, I, I don't know how it ended up where it did. But somehow, she's laying on her back, the shit stream rockets out, and it immediately splashes over the door that was, like, five feet away. 
I, I don't even know what crazy, like, wanted curves it did, but it somehow did that. My fiance's panicking. I'm gagging. I'm literally about to throw up. My eyes are watery because I like I'm in tears of how gross it smells. And I had to clean the door. It it was the worst. That was the worst. But it was literally a, a rocket stream of shit. Rocket powered. But any of you in the chat that have kids know, like, you all have those stories. There's always some kind of like shit horror story. When Bibby's making Hershey squirts, it smells like nuclear reactor. You owe her an apology for this one later. I'm going to show the stream to her exactly when she's a teenager. Terrible things are happening. When she has a boyfriend that I don't like, I'll show him and be like, oh, she used to uh, shoot shit squirts. This was more than that. I saw them hang a man from the trees while his father watched. I still hear his father scream. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm just, I'm remembering that situation. And it was just like, you, you'd think if people heard the screams outside, like you'd think it was a horror movie inside because my fiance is screaming she's trying to hold my daughter while like somehow the shit didn't get us though like i did like a matrix thing where i dodged and i just saw like the stream like go across me like in slow motion it was horrible it was horrible my lord. My lord. I've heard people thankfully my kiddo has had that kind of story of the same power the mongols used to light their blades aflame blade rocket of stream and shit sounds like something avg would what say i lived it though that's place. the difference what makes them think Mount Joker could hold the city? My son, too, when he was a baby. Oh, my God. This, here's one. When he was a baby. I'm talking, like... I, he, had, he had to have not been a year old. My brother-in-law and my sister stayed over our house. And they were... At the time, the guest room was his room when he was a baby. He had his crib on the side, so my brother-in-law was sleeping in the morning. And my son were changing his diaper out of nowhere. Just like the shit... The, the shit stream, but with him, it was the, the other end. He had a, a pee stream. Like, you know, they're babies, they're boys, so their little things dangling there. goes up, and he just it peed. So somehow it arched up in the air and then came down like the... The only way I can describe it is like the artillery fire in Gears of War. You know when you aim it and it just... It shoots up and then just comes down with a target? That's what happened, but it was pee. So it goes up and lands in my brother-in-law's ear. And he wakes up panicked because somehow he was as he was asleep, but somehow he instantly knew what just happened. Oh, I gotta go to the armor. He instantly knew what just happened. Like, a stream of pee just rose in the air and came crashing down into his ear by this baby that wasn't even aiming. It was glorious. It was glorious because it didn't happen to me. I, I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Both of your kids are gonna get you? Hey, you know what? I had to live through it, so... That's too bad. I live through the terror. Thieves and murderers are everywhere. But the bandits preying on Hiyoshi always... When I was a kid, I had a puke stream. My parents compared to the exorcist. Yeah, I've dealt with multiple. Like, my daughter doesn't handle long car rides well. So, like, if we go visit, like, you know, my fiance's sister, she's, like, 40 minutes from us. So, like, we'll drive over and then, like, my daughter will throw up in the car. And it's, it's horrible. But yeah, kids, man, kids are a little, like, you know, piss and shit and puke factories. Like, that. that's that's what they do. I always laugh in all these movies, too, that, that depict, like, I don't know. They depict so much BS. Like, you'll have, um, like, when, when people are, when, when kids are born, you know, in movies, like, you'll see them pop out. Like, they go to the hospital, and, like, five seconds later, the kid just comes flying out. And then uh, they're they're clean as hell. Clearly, it's like a four month old child. It's bullshit. I've been there. They come out like alien looking monsters and all kinds of fluids all over them. It, it smells weird. That's reality, man. That, that's reality. It said I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world, but I'm I'm trying to be accurate in my descriptions. My lord. Something very strange is going on. Talk about R. Kelly for him. Mongols? I don't know. Everyone walks around as though they're living in the thousand hells. They <laughs> babies. They're so babies. Oh, Shredder. I'll look into it. Essentially the cartoon Shredder. Um, Alright, let's do... Where is the armor? Why can't I find the armor? Oh, 
I know you're hiding from me. You know, I, I can do that later. Screw it. Sensei Shikawa believes Tomoe is somewhere in the north regions of Kamiyagata. When I'm there, I should help his hunt for Tomoe. Well, I can go there. Gotta go all the way across where, of course, I have zero fast travel areas. I haven't explored any of this. BS aside, honestly, you love them more than anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, lo you love your kids. Like, I mean, any parent that doesn't is a piece of shit. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah, I love my kids to death, but I'm not going to lie and say, like, oh, they're little angels. I love every moment I spend with them. No, sometimes I want to knock them all out. <laughs> I mean, let's be real here. But, you know, that's what kids do. Shredder, a.k.a. Uncle Phil. Yeah, man. I miss Uncle Phil, man. Oh, you guys heard that? Oh, God. This, this is a horrible idea. Um, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Oh, found something. French Prince of Bel-Air. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard that. They, there's a YouTube video that went around for a bit. I think it was a YouTube video. Where it, it was like a spoof of the series, but someone made like a drama version. Like an actual, like, you know, kid living in the hood and dealing with issues that people deal with in the hood. But... It was like a serious dr drama version of King of the Hills, just like a YouTube project someone did. Um, Will Smith and his wife saw it, and they apparently they got inspired to reboot Fresh Prince as a drama. I, d I don't know if I want to see that. Like, Fresh Prince was always so humorous. Like, I, d I don't want them to do that. More resolve. But yeah, like, I, some things don't need to be rebooted. I feel like Fresh Prince to me was definitely a product of its time. Like, I have no desire to see a rebooted drama version of it. I, I just don't. I, I don't care. If you're going to do that, just make an original show. Come here, Yogi. I need some Predator Hide. No, 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 that sounds depressed. Yeah, I don't I don't understand. Will Smith's wife usually does have bad ideas. Isn't there like a whole controversy or something now? Like where where she like I don't know, didn't she like admit to cheating on him or something? But that I, I, I saw something going on around about that. But they talk about it like she's perfectly fine with it. I don't I don't follow celebrity news. I I don't give a shit to be honest. But, like, I just kept seeing stuff on Twitter about it. And when you see stuff on Twitter trending, like, you just can't... You can't escape it. It's all over the damn feed. Phase of Fresh Prince of No Hair. I do have it, but I shave it. Um, much to the distress of my fiance, She hates when I shave my head. Like if if I actually let my hair grow out, basically it just gets curly. Like it start it starts spiky, and then if I let it grow, it just like when I was a kid, I had like a fro. I mean that's what I would have now if I just let it grow all the way out. But like I always like to just shave my head. I live in Florida; it gets way too damn hot. So I always take my buzzer and I just shave it all off and call it a day. Like I'm not trying to go to hair stylist to freaking I don't know. Uh, heat my curls and all this shit. But yeah, my fiance hates it when I cut my hair short, but I mean it's just so much more comfortable. It really is. Fresh Prince has always been a comedy and it always has good serious moments time to time. Yeah. Like it had yeah, you're right, Wesley. At its core it's a comedy and it had some dramatic moments, but yeah, they want to go on like with a full like drama show. I, I don't know. I don't I don't know if people are gonna respond well to it. Just because, I mean, you, you are carrying the French Prince of Bel-Air name. So people are going to expect, you know, to be similar. Please grow the afro for one million so I will never. I don't even know if I grow all the way like when I was a kid. But, like, when I was a kid, like, my, my parents would never take me to the barber and get a haircut. So I would just be walking around with this crazy fro. <laughs> well, almost like a fro, but... And then my sisters would always have to beg them, like, go get him a haircut. But yeah, that's what it was like, man. So now I just... 
I don't remember the last time I grew my hair out. I, I just always shave it. It's so much easier. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground where I spent most of my days. I, man, I was hooked to Fresh Prince. Such a good show. Every kid in the 90s watched it. Somebody please Photoshop me with an afro. Mind you, when I say afro, I'm not talking about, like, I don't know, like some black dynamite fro. That's not what I mean. I should wear a fake uh, a fake fro on stream once. <laughs> Just to simulate it. Why not? My hair is getting long again thanks to the pandemic. See, for me, the pandemic, uh, pandemic has been my facial hair. I just barely ever shave anymore. But it's like, I don't know. I don't feel like it. I just kind of shave my neckline and just let everything else flourish, if you will. Man, a bunch of side quests are going to start opening in this area, too, I bet. No, I don't have time for you. i got to find uh, Sensei. Sensei! You with an afro would be Bob Ross? We need to talk. I used to love watching Bob Ross. Everybody did. Shit was relaxing. When I was your age, people said... Okay, it was like, in my area, it was on like late at nights on PBS. Just go to sleep to it. Yeah, not even close. But I'm damn good. And I'm grateful for everything you taught me. I was so dedicated to my study. Oh, Sly like Cooper Edbands in the Pagoda? Time for a family. Dumway was to be my heir. I'll grab it. Her crimes. I could not forgive her. You know, somebody would. I devoted my life to the bow. These side missions are way more involved than the, the actual main missions are. I like that. From me. Family is more important. Sensei. Don't become like me. Don't let the ghost consume you. It already has. The way is somewhere in Kamiagata. A last ditch effort to rally the Mongols and restore her reputation. If she's here, we will find her. And end this. Yes, we will. Oh, it's in that pagoda? This one over here? Wait a minute. Is it actually just floating up there? Is that that... I see something up there. Or is it this pagoda? Wouldn't a game like this that was about the Shira Ryu and Lin Kuei be sick? I said that! I said that a couple streams ago. Hell yeah, they need to do prequel with, with the early days of the Lin Kuei when the Shira Ryu broke off from the Lin Kuei. That's what they need to do. I'd be the, the Shira Ryu leader in Japan. The tall pagoda? How the fuck do I climb that? But I'd be the leader of the Shira Ryu that came to Japan to escape the Lin Kuei. And then the Lin Kuei are coming over here to mark my entire clan for death. So they are essentially the Mongols of the story. See, that's a good story for Mortal Kombat. And fits right into the damn lore. Can I even climb that yet? I don't see anything to climb. I'll do that one later. I want to do this quest. Wait, where is this? Oh, God. Now they're making me go all the way over here? Well, okay. Here. At, at least I'm close. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the grapple. You're right. I could have done that. To be Takeda. Yep. Yeah, the original. 
see that'd be so cool man like that i would love to see them take those kind of risks uh nether realm take those kind of risks with a with the mortal Kombat universe and b doing something that's not a fighting game that'd be really cool seeing them expand that territory in some in a completely different game because if they did that i like can you imagine that game with this level of storytelling but with like a mortal Kombat skin damn it this is why sometimes i wish fans made like companies like asked fans for for ideas you know even though to be honest a lot of fan ideas are just absolutely dreadful <laughs> like i don't know like uh, uh assassin's creed and castlevania crossover that i get constant timeline requests for i i just i i don't understand why it just doesn't make sense it's a terrible idea but I, the idea's out there you know i i don't get it Injustice is back in the comics again? Like, new comics? Oh, that absolutely means they're gearing up for Injustice 3. Oh, now the Fire Quest Sword opened up? Alright. Yeah, I want to finish up the side one. The Fire Sword one I may have to do next time. I mean, if we consider a Special Forces exist, MK could not only be a fighting game. Well, yeah, but those aren't good games, is the point. Shaolin Monks wasn't a fighting game. That was damn good. I think it was damn good. Burn the cup. Lay me owls. All shut in the back. Probably ambushed. Surprised that fan feedback saved Sonic movie. Yeah, you know, on the other hand, that that was one example where it was um I the main reason I saw that movie was to support it because they listen to the fans, and that's something you don't see very often, if ever. Um, and what happened? You ended up with a much better movie. So, I, I'm glad I supported that movie because it was genuinely good. Please, excuse me, my lord. It's a bad idea to sneak up on me. I thought you were with the man who killed these Mongols. He was samurai, but older. An archer? Sensei Ishikawa. Where is he? Hmm. He said he'd come back to my house. In Shallow Monks was an awesome game. I would imagine a remaster with online co-op. I have food. That'd be so badass. Whatever his business was, it seemed urgent. It's possible he picked up Tomoe's trail. Oh, it's a prequel. That takes place before the Metropolis destruction. Not far. Interesting. But there's a storm coming, and I need to check my snares first. Then I can take you there. Fine. I'll go with you. What's your name? Matsu, my lord. Nine times out of ten, fan fiction is terrible. It is. Sometimes I'll get random people that, for some reason, it, it's no one in these streams. It was just like random people that'll email me. Like, I, I don't know. Some people find me on like Twitter, and then they'll randomly email me like some crazy Castlevania fan fiction. Yeah, like I said, <laughs> nine times out of ten, fan fiction is. War brings unlikely people together. Yeah, <laughs> it's I'll leave it at that. To ask a really good question. Don't mess it up. <laughs> Rip Gangsta's What's Paradise and Sonic movie. Hold the power yeah, well, we ended up with a better movie. In your hands. It's invigorating. Let's say it's humbling. It's a heavy responsibility. But you secretly enjoy it. Only a monster would enjoy it. That's not the answer I expected. I should have said it's invigorating. I want to see how she reacted. Sonic Mania was a fan project there. originally, though. It was. My Check it quickly. See, this is the thing. Like, fan fiction might be terrible, but fans working on video games is usually pretty damn good. Because you, you have someone starting projects out of out of yeah. complete passion for the game and understanding it. it. So it's more companies should embrace that. The fact that Sega yeah. embraced a fan project... Oh. And made it turn into a full game. That's good for everybody. What do you use? The illusion of opportunity. Like trust with the consumer, trust with the fan base, and you made a good game. <laughs> this way, my lord. It's not easy surviving up here. It's hard everywhere. 
I fled north when the Mongols came. I would never be able to survive up there, man. It's cold as fuck. I'll stay right here at my ass in Florida, where it's warm. Your family must be very important. My uncle is Lord Shimura. Wait. You're the one people talk about. The ghost. But you're not ten feet tall with eyes like a demon. Ten feet tall with demon eyes? Uh, not right now. Let's say right now. As far as you know, but demons often visit humans in disguise. I know there's no such thing as demons. I hope. <laughs> Besides, you're much too handsome to be. A I demon. feel like they're developing a love story with this chick. Demon, I would agree with you. Mega Man game. Yeah, Mega Man had good fan games. Yep. Um, also, the the fan. One thing I really wanted to see was the fan remake of the original Metal Gear, but Konami shut it down. It's like, you know, to me, that pisses me off, because if you have someone not trying to make... Like, you shit things down to protect your IP. However, Look, it, I, I, it, wasn't in, it wasn't in danger off. because of it. Please. Like, guy wasn't trying to make money off of it, you know? It was just a free thing they were doing. The only times I really understood them doing it was Capcom shutting down Resident Evil 2 Remake... Because they want to do their own. That the fan one turned into Daymare in 1998. Fine. Nintendo shut down um, Metro 2 Remake because they were making their own. Legally, I completely understand that. But if you're shutting down something and you're not planning to do anything with that property, why are you shutting down that fan project? Just let it be. Or better yet, embrace the damn thing. Starving. Yeah, Nintendo shut down AM2R, yep. And it's really good, but... You know what? They were making their own remake. I understand that. Hey. But if they weren't doing anything with it, like some of these other companies do, that's, that's where it's like, we're now sorry. you're being a dick. It's just a squirrel. We have eaten grass and tree Resident Evil 2 Remake was spawned from a fan-made game. Well, they, they had been planning that for a long time. Um, you, that was coincidence. You the fans had just been doing their own, but it, it wasn't related. And no threat. Doesn't sound like the ghost I've heard about. Not all the stories about me are true. Damn, she's heard I'm a monster. The lizard is almost on us. How many more traps do you have? Just one. But it's farther away. Yeah, but Resident Evil 2 Remake, um... Capcom... See, Capcom didn't really shut it down, though. It was more so... Here. They just asked them to, to change the names of everything and not associate with Resident Evil. So, I mean, they let it exist as its own fan project. And, you know, that's fine. I mean, and, and you gotta think, it came out as Daymare 1998, it came out as an original game, and we still got Resident Evil 2 Remake. The stories are stories. Without allies and friends, I'd be dead. You're just saying that. I owe my life Midway should shut down Game Boy Color MK4. Midway didn't make it. People may not tell their stories. They licensed it out. I gotta give my allies credit. I don't want to miss Sensei Shikawa. The last trap is just a little farther, my lord. When I played the fan-made demo, I was like, this needs to happen. Glad it did. Yeah, I want to play Damer 1998. I've heard mixed things about it. I'm sure it's rough around the edges. But, I mean, it's a fan-made project. Like, a fan-made project that turned into a full game. I mean, I, I find that respectable. Not easy to make games. Here we are. Shit, if it was, everyone would be doing Hope it. We don't go hungry. I wasn't aware of a Metal Gear remake. Was it the PS1? No, the older one. Not Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear. There was a fan remake, but before they could even get it really started, Konami sent them a, cease, a cease and desist. They were advertising that it was happening and shut it down right away. What's up there? The mainland. No Mongols. No war. For now. Somewhere I can start over. Say you make it to the mainland. Mongols want the mainland. In Kyoto, I'll open a fancy inn. Learn to play the shamisen. Welcome the undying parade of beautiful men and women. While my servants rub them blind. Sounds like Kyoto's in trouble. MSX or NES? I don't know. I don't know which version they were remaking, but it wasn't solid. It was just regular Metal Gear. They're going to remake it into like a brand new PC game. Um, and yet Nintendo doesn't care about the hundreds of Smash clones and fan games. Uh, I mean, Nintendo, Nintendo shuts down things left and right. Um, it's been, like, remember that Pokemon, they were making like that Pokemon Uranium or whatever, Nintendo shut that down too. And then Nintendo, I have a love-hate relationship with them, because I, I love Nintendo. I love their properties, I love their products. 
but that? they're they're a little too heavy-handed with all this copyright shit. Like, especially when you're shutting down all the emulation websites. I mean, to me, game preservation is very important. I don't feel that piracy is nowhere near as big of a problem in the industry as it used to be. Like, most people do buy their games. People that are going to pirate them, they're going to pirate them no matter what. <laughs> so, I mean, the, the people that pirate the games aren't going to spend the money to buy your games. They just won't play them. Close to the house. I'll deal with them. Stay back. Emulation is extremely important, in my opinion. Stand and fight me! Especially as time passes and games don't get remastered or re-released. They just kind of get lost to time, you know? Such a dick. There. Get down, big man! Forgot the guys in this area a little tougher. What do you have? Oh, you have a sword. Be gone, my friend. No wonder they tell stories about you. Where's your house? See, she's impressed by the stories. Let's go, Matsu. They don't touch hacks either. Yeah, Damir 1998 was on sale for like six bucks a few weeks ago. Oh man, if I would have yeah, for six bucks I would totally bought it. There. Oh, there she is. Your Castlevania timeline get copyright strike? The original one I did? Like back in the day? Because that's the only one I have on the channel currently. Uh, back in the day it did, but I fought off all the claims. Nintendo doesn't really bother me anymore, copyright claims, because I, I used to get claimed so much by them that I fought every claim off, and now they don't they don't really claim me anymore at all when I do Nintendo content. That's why it's important to fight off every claim. A lot of people just let claims sit there and, you know, they take it in the ass and can't do that. Here we are. Let's get There's inside. a remake of Simon's Quest got just got released today. I didn't know, but I gotta look that up. I know there was the uh, Simon's Quest. Someone redid the NES game, but fixed it. I think it's called Simon's Quest Re Redacted or something like that. To be the ghost. They made a ton of improvements. I do what I have to for Tsushima. The truth is, we're both survivors. We have darkness in us. If we didn't, we'd be dead. Sensei Shikawa said something similar. But it sounds more natural coming from you, Tomoe. Ishikawa always said I underestimate my. You know, I thought that might be her, but then I stopped. Then I stopped thinking so. The Mongols turned against me. After you trained them to slaughter our people. Oh, shit. The mistake I tried to fix. But I can't kill all my archers. Not alone. You need me. And the sensei. But we don't need you. I know where they'll attack next. Oh, Can damn. Them together. I don't and trust her. Victory, I get revenge. I'll talk it over with sensei Shikawa. Jing. You can stay the night. No, Tomoe. I can't. She's done so much bad shit, though. Damn. I hate... Threw me for a loop. Alright, let's go back to the temple. I'm gonna go tell on you. Simon's Quest Rebitten? I gotta look that up. Did you ever play Ultimate Spider-Man game? Yeah, it was a fun game. It was very short, though. I remember I bought it, and I was disappointed because I beat it the same day I got it. I did play it all day, though. Simon's Quest Rebitten. Like, it's a full game, or...? It looks just like the original game. 
Is it just the original with some improvements? I'll have to check that out sometime. Ooh, do I have news for you? Come here. Sakai, you have news. Something like that. Sir Tomoe is a textbook sociopath telling you about it. After all the crap she's done. She's hiding in the north. The Mongols turned against her. If you saw her, why is she still alive? Her archers are preparing a massive attack. She wants the three of us to wipe them out. Or she needs both our heads to get back in the Mongols. Face. Yeah, that's she what I'm thinking. Me, sensei, but she didn't. Hmm. I have never been rewarded for trusting Tomoe. I don't trust her. But we need what she knows. Yeah, this this is she needs our help. This is rough. And we finish this. Hmm. Saw Simon's Quest game with Super Castlevania graphics called Simon's Quest Revamped. There's a lot of fun uh, Castlevania hacks and, and homebrew. Like they have, they have some original Castlevania games on the NES too. Like one's called Chorus of Mysteries. They got another one called uh, I think it was Blood Moon. But they're all original titles. They're really cool. I tell you guys, I, I want Castlevania Maker so bad. Like I want a Castlevania Maker game. If they do that, like all my time's gone. Oh, you know what? We'll top off the night with completing this quest. Because, look, there's nine of nine. There's still a lot of these side missions to do. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, they might take more streams. But, like I told you guys before, I'm in no rush to beat this game. We'll, we'll just we'll complete it as, as, as we go. Let's end this quest. Damn, that's far. Even if she helps you, it's to her benefit. It, exactly. Like, now she's only she's only offering to help because it benefits her. Like, where, where were you before? Before they turned against you, you know? He added bosses and some extra stuff. That game needed bosses. There were no... There, there weren't really any bosses in Simon's... Like, Death, you don't have to fight him. You can walk right by him. Um, Dracula, just, I mean, you just throw the holy water in there. And he can't move. There's practically no bosses. Like a Castlevania game with no bosses. That's insane to me. Reading a good looking Castlevania game is still being worked on Simon's Quest Transylvania Adventures. I want to play the one that original Lacarda Chronicles 1 and 2. I plan to stream those sometime. I, I keep hearing great things about those. And I've been I've been keeping track of them for a while. I've been wanting to check them out. Where is this man? You over here? Sakai. You have word from <laughs> even Castlevania sixty four bosses, right? I like Castlevania 64. Do you think she'll tell us the truth? I'll defend that game. And Sakai, there will be no room for error. I came prepared, Sensei. Let's go. Today you die, Tomoe. Where are we headed? North of Umugi Cove. She sent word to meet at an old gambling den. Might be a good spot for an ambush. We have the advantage. I do not trust this bitch. She's gonna. Her. She is desperate. Desperate enemies are dangerous. It's a trap. They are unpredictable. But Tomoe has two choices: enlist our help, or betray us. You spent time with her. What do you think? <sighs> she can help us wipe out her archers. The risk is worth it. Your I hesitantly responded that. She could have killed me in Jogoku. And lost me. This way, she gets us both. If she doesn't ambush us, we hear her out. And if this planned attack is real, we cooperate. After that, we'll deal No, with I should have said we kill her, man, because, like... She will answer for it. She did too much bad things. Regardless of the reason.
So it made a side scrolling Castlevania 64? That's badass. It's too quiet, man. Sending me into a trap. Foolishness. What will you say when you see her? I have nothing to say to Tomoe. You don't want answers? You haven't spoken since she joined the enemy. Any chance of talking ended the moment she turned on me. We're getting close. Eyes open. We go on foot from here. I'm keeping my eyes, man. I, I, I see an archer. He's getting shot right in the face. I won't be fooled. Sneak up on the gambling bin. Stay low. A lot of places to hide archers here. That's the gambling den. No Mongols. That we can see. Stop here. That outcropping to the right. I'll position myself there. And you... <laughs> if I was here to kill you, you'd already She just pops up like, hello, welcome to my house. Get over here. Not a chance. Screw it. I'll just go in there. Sensei. Jing. Always so sure of yourself. The one thing you never had to teach me. Your archers are planning an attack. Where and when? Umugi Cove. Heading there now. Why tell us? The Khan betrayed me. I'm taking my archers away. And if we don't help you stop them, they'll wipe out Umugi Cove. I don't yeah, she only cares about herself. Do nothing. And watch what happens. Damn it. The Mongols followed me. How convenient. Damn, how convenient. All right. Uh, this guy dies first. Oh, wait a minute. Come on, give me ghost powers. Damn. Oh shit. Retreat! Oh, I got poisoned. I got poisoned by one of the arrows. <laughs> this guy dies first as he nearly kills you. They cheated. They cheated. All that happened. Was it Castlevania 2 the first appearance of Carmilla? Yes. At least in the form of her mask. And I think the instruction manual actually called her something completely different. But yeah, that was technically her first actual appearance. That's what I wanted to do. Now it's going smoothly. Surprise! Put that arrow back. Yeah, you like poison, don't you? Oh, he almost threw up on me. I believe her. I believe it wasn't a trap. But she used it to her advantage. Against the Mongols, Sensei. To deceive us, so we lower our guard. If I want to put an arrow in you, there's nothing you can do to stop me. Enough. 
Umugi Cove could be under attack. We need to move. Didn't the instruction manual for three called Sypha Sypha and Seisha's man? I don't know if the instruction manual did, but the game itself uh, was mistranslated. Not mistranslated. Uh, when you meet uh, Alucard and Grant in the you know in text, it's like, would you like him to join your party or whatever? Um, they just never bothered changing him to her with Sypha. So they kept the same text. So people grew up thinking it was a he. Sypha was a man. Although the ending makes no sense when they and Trevor are together and long flowing blonde hair. Like, Sypha's a chick. I won't apologize. And uh, all the marketing, like Nintendo Power and all that when they came out. I shared the couple, I think like two weeks ago on Twitter, one of the advertisements that it shows Sypha and it describes of him being a powerful wizard. Um, and then the Captain and the Game Master cartoon series. Uh, it was a little blue wrinkle dude. So yeah, Castlevania lore was all over the place back then because we didn't have internet. We didn't know what the hell people knew in Japan, so they just they would just mistranslate things left and right and then call it a day. I don't remember if the actual instruction manual was, was mistranslated though. Castlevania fan making called Zero Fighter. Oh, it's just boss rush. That's not that interesting to me though. If that's all it is. Is that why the Netflix series made Sypha a tomboy? I don't think that had anything to do with it, but... They, they basically invented Trevor and Sypha's character in the series, because, like, if you think about it, in what games do we ever see their personality? It's just, it's never seen. Um, so they had to really create those characters from the ground up. Even Trevor, the only time you get a hint of his personality is in Curse of Darkness, and he's just, like, your basic hero character. Like, he's... I mean, you gotta think back then. These these characters were just little sprites. There was no character development. If they see us headed for Mugi, how you like being a ninja? Now I think it's great. Agreed. It's way better than being a samurai. Cut through this field. Stay with Ishikawa and Tamoe. How did you find my camp in Akashima? Your people attacked me. We tracked them. I told them to avoid you two. God, he's so mad. I'm glad they ignored your orders. I lost control. By the time we set up in Kushi, I wasn't in charge. We don't speak of the borderline porn scenes that happened in Castlevania Season 3. I wouldn't even say borderline. They they, they were softcore porn, basically. Yeah, those scenes were a little, little, uh, little, little crazy. Oh, man. Hang on. Ah, oh, freaking poison. That dude's dead. Poison! Damn it, you're lucky I gotta revive someone. Oh, no, yeah, I have time to kill him. I have time to kill him. Yes! Haha, <laughs> God is dumbass. Hell yeah. There is no escape. We can rest there, out of sight. Tomoe, you said you lost control of the Mongols in Kushi. Men say I like her character more in the anime more than her judgment version. Yeah, the, way better. The judgment version is just like none of those characters good to character development. They were just like little intros. In most games, Trevor is shown to have any personality. He's a hard ass. Yeah, and Curse of Darkness. That's really the only game because you have you have Curse of Darkness, where he just pops up every once in a while, uh, and he's this legendary figure that whoops Trevor or Hector's ass, and then you have him in Judgment where he's a little older and, and he's just 
Mongols are out in force. I, there's not much personality in general. I thought I lost them. And then, I mean, Dracula's Curse, there, there's no personality. That's pretty much it. We can use the darkness to our advantage. Will they attack the cold before then? No. They'll position archers. Make sure no one gets out. Plan their slaughter. Get some rest. I'll keep watch. The most personality the characters get in Castlevania Judgment is just how they react to the other characters in the series. That's it. Ready. Simon was butchered. Yeah, he was the Japanese goth metal you're, dude. You're but worst character fall. design. I, I hate that version of Simon. If the Mongols spot you first, we get out of sight and drop them. Let's go. Stay close. Don't let her out of your sight, Sakai. I can hear you, Sensei. Good. <laughs> this is like a dysfunctional like little trio. This is a cool side mission. Jing, you take one. I'll take the other. Wasn't the werewolf guy like a crazy armored wolf man? Yeah, it was Cornell. Uh, before the events of Legacy of Darkness. But he was all armored up. He was awesome looking. That's one character they improved the uh, character design for. In, in Legacy of Darkness, he was just a man with pants. Or a wolf with pants, I mean. He just turns into a wolf and he's just wearing regular pants. That's it. Don't miss, Sensei. An arrow. You took that last one with a circling falcon shot, Sensei. You saw that. And you changed your form, too. I shift the right hand down. So when you release... Wasn't well, Simon supposed to have an arrogant personality? They invented his personality for... The only time you see it is, is judgment. That's... Because it's never, it's never actually shown in any other source. In, in any other game. I mean, it's implied that he's more... Kind of thick-headed and a little... A little tougher, but... Again, most of the Belmonts, which which is why I like what the Netflix series did with Trevor, because most of the Belmonts, in reality, they have no personality or character development. Besides some of the later ones, when there's actually, like, text speech on, like, Game Boy Advance and stuff. God, can't them see me? Come on. It doesn't say I can't kill anybody. So, that means... He lived. Oh, he saw me. I shot him right in the face. How did he live? Simon is Super Saiyan blue hair. I, that's such a ridiculous look. He, he had the most uh, different hair color in the whole series. I like to imagine if Dracula wasn't even awake for an entire day when Simon attacked his castle. Yeah, he just like assaulted his keep brutally. Dracula just comes back and he's like, oh, what the hell? Wait, what, what, what's going on? And then Simon's just standing there with his biceps. And he's just like, who the hell are you? Instantly whips him and sends him right back. I like to imagine that Richter was a complete dork like he was in Rondo. Oh, yeah, he had those, like, goofy-ass cutscenes in the, uh... On the actual, the original Turbo Graphics version, not the Super Nintendo one. Damn, they're gonna see. Okay, wait a minute. There we go. My archers. The moment we attack, they'll retreat into town. Use it to defend against us. Innocent people will die. See the barrels in their carts? I'll circle behind. One flaming arrow. Once you shoot, they'll be on you. If you stay back in the tree line. I might miss. I need to get close. Oh, she never misses. The damage I've done. Go. You trust her? I trust her desire for revenge. It's a good line. So that's how she stayed one step ahead of us. You taught her well, Sensei. I know. Get ready. Ow! 
fire! Set them all on fire! Destruction! That was badass. You garbage. Still haven't finished Rondo of Blood? And it's talking, is it because you haven't played it or, or it's just it's hard? Rondo of Blood's hard. It's really hard. That that's one of the harder two D. Is it the hardest 2D? It might be the hardest 2D one. It gets real bad near the end. Not bad, Sakai. Where's Tomoe? I don't know. Was she wounded? Tomoe! Oh no, now she's gone? Oh hell no. Near the end of the fight, I saw her by the archway over there. That leads straight into Umugi Cove. If any Mongols try to retreat that way, maybe she gave chase. Or she's setting a trap. I don't trust her. Knows that killing her archers won't erase her crimes. But she got her revenge. Is that all she got? She fought alongside us. That will mean something once we defeat the enemy. Forget the Mongols. What does she want in Umugi Cove? There's not much here besides thieves and cutthroats. There's a piece of Eden in there. She needs a boat to get off the island. But don't tell me she's just gonna sail away. You there? Yes, my lord. Did you see a woman run through here? A warrior. It's a she long tail. For the beach. This way. Death keeps whooping my ass, and I refuse to use Maria. Yeah, Maria's easy mode. De yeah, death. That's one of the hardest versions of the character, Please. especially after you take out his first form and he has the actual like the battle on land with you. It, it's bad. For safe passage to a way off the island. We're always one step behind, but there's still time to stop her. Drinks a chalice of blood. I've never played Rondo of Blood. I have Dracula X before. Dracula X is very different. It, it's the same story. It's that version of the story, but Dracula X is the the little bit of a watered down version. She's sailing away like peace, bitches. Wait. She, I, what thing I gotta say? Like she, she, she's a survivor. We have judged each other harshly, but the Buddha tells us that our greatest enemies can be our best teachers. I am grateful for your teaching and for the chance to fight by your side a final time. I have been your student. I would have become your daughter, but the way of the bow. Is behind me now. What lies ahead? I am like an arrow shot from a bow. Who knows where the wind will take me? It's a pretty good ending for this. Maybe she'll reach Kyoto after all. If she were anyone else, I'd say that's impossible. Article says for the sequel that we still have a war to finish. they want developers to kill Jin at the beginning of Place Tomoe. You know, I have no more lessons to give in this life. I would agree with half of that. One. Um, hold on. Promise me, you won't repeat my mistakes. I promise. Um, I I don't see any need to kill off Jin. I I don't think they should do that at all. But how about playing as her? She makes it to the mainland and then. When the Mongols reach the mainland, then you play as her, and it's almost like a redemption thing for her. That would be a cool idea for a sequel. I, I think that'd be a great idea to play as her. But why kill off Jin? There's no reason for that. Hey, don't do that. Oh, I got a bow die. Tomoe was a good student. Let's see what it looks like. The die.
How do I? Was it here? How do I change the die for the bow? Oh, I actually have to go to one of the... Um... Oh, here it is. Noble Crane. Um, I don't like this bow. It's ugly. I'll do that color. Oh, that's cool. Balloon Black. Midnight Shark. We're going to do that. There. Now they're better colors. I like it. <coughs> I agree if Tomoe isn't the second most evil character in the game. Don't get sentimental, Sakai. Yeah, she, she's pretty pretty bad. But like I said, I mean, if they turn it into a redemption story for her, like, I, I think that'd be cool. Um, but yeah, don't don't kill Jim. That's it. Justice for Ryuzo, he was an innocent. Screw Ryuzo. He was not innocent. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll cut it off there because we did the whole quest. Um, and it's midnight my time. And we still have... We still have quite a bit of a ways to go. What the hell, man? Like, there's so many of these. But you know what? At least they're good. So we're just going to keep on streaming this. Right right now with the streams up until the very end of September, I'm kind of being a little more, you know, willy-nilly about it and just trying to finish these games up that I started now and then we'll kind of reset once we beat them all. Because once September, the end of September comes around, we're going full-blown into Monster Month with, with all the craziness. So it's, it's going to be really cool. Um... But yeah, we'll, we'll we'll do that. We'll cut it off there. Um, Monday, Assassin's Creed Two. Wednesday, Dark Forces. Friday, back onto this. I may or may not have the Mortal Kombat video ready. The next one I want to do is about Cabal and his Black Dragons. Um, no, I did not say Kano. Cabal and his Black Dragons, Kira and Cobra. Um, that's I I don't know if I'll be able to have that ready for next week. That might be the week after because I'm still doing the Halloween stuff. But um, yeah. We'll, we'll leave it off at that. I will see you guys in the comment section. Or uh, if not, I'll, I'll see you on stream Monday. Everyone have an awesome weekend. Stay safe out safe. Stay safe out there and wash your hands and don't catch this deadly virus. I'll catch you guys.